We are here, we are back, and it is time to uh, do our version of Pacific Rim turning the clock off as we reset the failures number. Is that a thing they did? In Pacific Rim? Yeah. Did you not? You saw it, right? No. Oh. Do you even know what Pacific Rim is? Uh, robots fighting kaijus. Yeah, they had like a kaiju clock where it was like, uh, this is the time until the next one appears based on, you know, past, like, patterns and our, uh, the and our, uh, and whatnot. And when they, when they, like, sealed the hole and no more kaijus came, they shut the clock off. And it was like a big moment. But we're, we're doing that because 107 becomes zero! And then we center it. Probably. Now it's an eyeball. <laughs> uh, Saudi, thank you for the subscription. Uh, Pacific Rim is just the name of an ocean-focused porno. I can't believe I wasted my sub message on that. <laughs> okay, uh, Pacific Rim is really good. The sequel is all right. People give it a lot of shit when it's it's honestly it's fine. I, I still remember, like, when, when I I never, I, for a while, I didn't watch Pacific Rim because I didn't know it was a kaiju movie. I think I thought it was a war documentary for some reason. A war documentary? I don't know. The closest I can think of is because whenever I heard Pacific Rim, I thought Pearl Harbor. That's the best I could think of. I guess. Anyway, uh, also, I have this. Boop. There we go. So we will always know what the total is because we had 107 failures in the gym leader castle. I thought it was a general apocalypse movie. It's not even really apocalypse. It's it's a kaiju movie, but instead of being like, here's one kaiju and we watch destroy things, it's kaiju are like an invading race and we watch robots fight them. The first Pacific Rim is amazing. The second Pacific Rim is all right. Anyway, uh, it's time for the cups, which is gonna be great uh i guess we'll start with little cup then pokey then prime and then we do challenge what is challenge anyway battle in this cup tournament using a oh it's a pre-selected team hmm huh i guess we'll give it a shot battle using six provided pokemon choose three out of six four level classes Let's, we'll do Little Cup first either way, because this is like, this is literally the baby mode. Alright. This All right. is gonna be interesting with the randomizer. You may have to roll a bit. Yeah, probably. Alright. Get the random Pokemon generator. And, uh... Boop boop. Alright. Oh. Let's see, is there a way I can make it, like... I, okay, so I can make it to only be final evolutions, I can't make it be no final evolutions, so... We're gonna have to just keep rolling and see what happens. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure we could just already, we already know, like, any, uh... Any non-first evolution is just not going to work. Regar oh, yeah. Regardless of what it is. So whenever we see one of those, we'll just re-roll. And we're getting a lot of them. Oh, no, Iggly buff, so no. Oh, Snubble! Take down, roar, bite, and scary face. God, the numbers are so low. Now. I know, right? <laughs> A-Palm? I was, I was wondering, like, do, I, I, a part of me was... Wait. Oh! Apob is not an option either. I guess ones that only have one member of the line don't work. Makes sense. They're not exactly babies. I mean, I guess. Oh, Onyx is there. Yeah, well, no, uh, there's Steelix. Ste now, there's but... Steelix, but yeah, like, still, like, what? I mean, it is I, baby Onyx. <laughs> Raw. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. Free roll. Crabby. Hey. I was wondering if, like, we should make it so, like, if we get one of the evolutions, we just get you, its pre evolution. You super but... it. <laughs> Wait, what? It... Huh? There we go. Crab. <sighs> Guillotine! So who fucking knows? No. No. Yes. Is Tangela not on here? 
Uh, it's a single stage. Ooh, at this we point. get flamethrower. Yeah, but yeah, Tango is a single stage. It doesn't get an evolution until Gen Four. No. no. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh, I got. I have to remind myself. Maybe. Shadow Ball's physical. Damn it! It's thief though. No. Yes. Drowsy. Why is your special attack? Hypnosis Dream Eater. His special what? attack is lower than his attack. That's great. No. What's the plan, still? Uh, hang on. This is this is one that's not on the list at all. So, do we do the the free pick for the for these still? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we get a free pick. Uh, let me. Uh. There we go. Now I can actually look back at the chat. Uh, I vote Chin Chow. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. Let, let me look at, like, what else there is, because here's the thing. They also are not, uh, they yes. don't have this, they don't have the same move sets and whatnot. Uh, that's a lot of attack. Yeah. Here, here's the thing. Dodrio and uh, Doduo, just by extension, compared to other first form things, is really good. And people overlook it because it's a normal flying type with a bad base stat total. But you don't need a base stat total. You just need whatever stats it uses. Uh, I'm smacked into the ground. And, oh, Honkai Star Rail. I need to play that. I, I want to play that at some point, rather. It's it's is it isn't it? What is it? It's like Genshin Impact in like a different, or is it just made by the same people who made Genshin Impact? Made by the same people, and you will find characters that are sort of reflections of. Genshin Impact characters, but that's sort of like a sort of an in joke they do. But instead of like uh, sort of standard fantasy ish stuff, it's uh, space trains and also it's turn based instead of uh, action. Gotcha. Also, hey, Tim. Hey, but it's still a gotcha game, right? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Because we're, we're probably going to be, we're definitely going to use Charmander because Flamethrower. We'll probably use Ghastly if only for Thief. So I'm do we... still voting Chin Chow for coverage. I was but... gonna say this team comp sucks, but I forgot we're in the little cup. So we yeah, have this to is this it. is yeah, this is little cup. Yeah, it has to be start the first form, and it cannot be single stages, basically. Okay, so that's not too bad. I mean, Ghastly is pretty good for stage one. Yeah, uh, you'd think so, but it has Shadow Ball, and that doesn't even go with its good stat. Yeah, but it does have Thief, so at the very least, there is something I can make use of it. And Fe and Dark and Ghost have the same things they're super effective against, so we just lose out on stat. Yeah, yeah. and Ghastly's only weak to Psychic, Ground, Dark? Yeah, Ghost. Oh, yeah, yeah. But Ghost is not a good typing in this generation, so... Yeah. <sighs> Let's see, because Doduo, we get just good physical attack, whereas Chin Chao, we get mediocre stats, but coverage. Chin Chao does get Spark and yeah. Water Gun. Yeah, and we don't, we don't, oh, Krabby's not usable, so yeah, we'll go with Chin Chao. All right. Now items. Uh, honestly, the berry might, like the regular berry will actually be good here because 10 HP is probably a lot. Uh, let's see, we're not using you. Uh, we're not using, uh, you. The, the Freeze Cure Berry is not that good most of the time, considering our status. Yeah. It's funny, Sylvia, because you're like, I'm fighting a boss I should not, I should not be fighting at this moment. I'm kind of doing that, too, in Dragon's Dogma. Alright. Apparently, aside from just... The microtransaction stuff and the terrible launch PC performance, people are really liking it. Hey, yeah, what's with that look of scorn? The micro the microtransaction doesn't bother me. It was the same thing in the first game. It's st stuff you can get throughout playing the game anyway. It's lazy microtransactions, essentially. <laughs> oh, guys. Togapini, Amanini, Kernini, Slugini, Squirtini, and Mankini. I miss these nicknames. Ah, uh, Mankini. <laughs> All right. Okay, so... Definitely not starting uh, with Charmander. Uh, uh, Chao, I think, would be the best thing to start with because it's super effective against three of them, and only one of them would pose a problem. So, Chinchao. Yeah. Ghastly's yeah. not super effective against 
any of them, but none of them are super effective against him. Also, it's not like I ha we have much else unless we want to bring in Snubble with fucking takedown. So... God. I forgot the realistic monkey sounds. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that's like this. That's like the stock chip monkey sound. Everything uses. Time for spark. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was in Donkey Kong 64. I, like that might be the noise they based Diddy's speech pattern off of. Pathetic! God, imagine if it fucking froze. Don't do no, it. This, Don't fucking this time do it. it. This okay. time out speeds us. We're good. Yeah, speed tie. Okay, it's dead. Chincho! We just killed that monkey. So, last night when I was, like, trying to fall asleep, my, I had my mind just wandering off in whatever fucking directions. Alright, more spark. Uh, the spirit for us. And uh, I thought, like, uh, <laughs> I was randomly like, huh, you know, Gen 1 Pokemon had, like, monkey Pokemon and cat Pokemon and birds and blobs and fetuses and humans. But it didn't have dogs. And then I woke up the next day, and the first thing I thought was Growlithe. Yeah, Growlithe. <laughs> it's so odd that they they nicknamed Arcanine the legendary Pokemon when nothing is special about Arcanine. I think it's it's because of like something in its Pokedex entry. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, we killed we we beat Bernie, and it wasn't hard. Yeah, and this means we get to continue, which you did say leads to Mulligans in this. Yeah. This this dumbass little kid decided to bring two water types. I mean, yep. So we we get an extra continue, which basically means like if we uh, if we if we uh, like if we lose a battle, we could just like retry it with our team, and that's like in the game. That's not a rule we're making up. Ah, uh, you had to use your continue to go to the second person. Stacy. With All normal types, pretty much. <laughs> Iggly Bask, Snubask, Meow Bask, Gay Bask, Tata Bask, and Teta Bask. Tag yourself, I'm Tata Bask. Yeah, they are all normal. We don't have a fighting on us. Well, uh, start with Ghastly, because then they'll be like, what the fuck do I do here? And bring the rest of the team, like the normal guys. Or if Teddy Ursa uses Bite. One of them could have D for bite. <laughs> Still don't know why they make Ghastly so freaking huge in this game. And yet, it's the lightest Pokemon in existence because it's pure gas. Look at yeah, that I was, gonna, I was gonna say, yeah. I don't. Is it still the lightest one? I don't know if it I'm, is. It 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 weighs like point two pound. Uh, Bulbapedia Pokemon by weight. I'm gonna look this I'm, up. I'm pretty I, sure Ghastly is still uh, the well, lightest. There we go. Oh, it did. We'll no be bite. fine. We'll be fine. It's okay. Well, it's, we're gonna we're gonna lose uh we're gonna lose Ghastly. Well, I guess I could switch. I can't see what they're. Uh, I guess I could switch and try to keep Ghastly alive. Also, okay, yeah, it is. It, it's tied for lightest. The lightest Pokemon. All the Pokemon that are 0.2 pounds are Ghastly, Haunter, Flabebe, Cosmog, Kartana, and Gimme Ghoul Roaming Form. And then Nick Cutie flies 0.4, and it goes up from there. <sighs> yeah, I think I'll switch. Try to keep Ghastly alive for the sake of continues. Okay, I hope whatever we switch into is faster than Teddy Ursa. Okay, that didn't do much. Yeah. Even if it get even if it gets another two of them off, we're fine. Kinky. Okay, we are faster than Teddy Ursa. Let's see how much damage we can do. 
Okay, right. next hit kills. Yeah, I was going fewer swipes. Uh oh. Please stop. Please stop. Hit crit on the last one. Looks like we're gonna have to use that to continue early. No, we don't have to use it. We just. We'll be fine. Charmander carry. Let's well, let's hope we're faster, because otherwise Fury Swipes is going to demolish us again. Blah! Nice crit. Really needed that for the 4 damage. Alright, fuck you then. I'll just miss. <laughs> I would hope Flamethrower doesn't miss. Should I take a turn to sun Sunny Day or just keep Flamethrowering? Just keep flamethrowing. We can't afford the chance they might crit. Fair. Thanks for Plus, the hype. I don't think. I don't I think, think the are gonna two shot things, so there's no yeah. point in having one and a half. Thanks for the hydrating stretch, Sonny. No point this in wasting also turn on fight, Sunny by Day. The way, Gasly's boned. Yeah. No point. In, no point in the Sunny Day when we can just spend a turn doing damage. Sonny, hydrate. The game, no burn. Oh! Ah, lives on one. Burn, please. Oh, wait, he used takedown. He's an idiot. Oh, it's going to kill itself. That's good for us. Um, oh, no, and no. us. Not good. That it's fine. It's fine. It's our Gasly against something that hopefully doesn't have bite. <laughs> we have. Our Gasly is like five health. Eh, he'll be fine. Gasly's fast. We just gotta get off a critical hit, super effective thief against this normal type. <laughs> we might be alright. Yeah, Meowth can't learn bite, right? Yes, it can. It probably can. Or faint attack. Or night slash. We're dead. We're so dead. Now what's the worst that can happen? I it's faster life. than us. It's faster so than every us. Single one of them has bite. So for the mulligan, don't bring Ghastly. Or uh, Drowsy. Yeah, well, that means I bring, what, Snubble? Probably. Alright, that doesn't count as a failure because we're still technically in it. Yeah, continue. Yeah, no drowsy or... <laughs> no drowsy or ghastly, that's uh, not gonna happen. All right. We can probably just lead with Chimchar and be pretty okay. <laughs> you mean Charmander? Oh, no. Charmander. <laughs> lead with Charmander. We're fine. Tim out here like, this is Pokemon Battle Revolution, right? <laughs> Man, I wish Pokemon Battle Revolution was better. It's just a battle simulator, basically. It doesn't have, yeah. it doesn't have gym leader cast <clears throat> or anything like these games do, or even mini games. It, yeah, it was good for competitive because it was easier to set up than the DS games, but that's about it. Yeah. Combat and face each other. Also, thank you for the hydrants okay. and stretches, Sylvia. I did do those. Charmander is also faster, so that's good. Okay, we kill on the next hit. Just don't do it again. Okay. Okay, only, only two times it did it. Half our health, that's fine. We'll kill it on this one. Yeah, Teddy Earth has got higher stats than it really should. Been playing a new playthrough for Pokemon Legends R, so it's a dual type run. Nice. I'm still, like, on and off going, uh, doing a Pokemon Ultra Sun Ghost type only run. I'm having to use PK Hex a lot because it turns out that basically every ghost type in that game, in order to get it, it's like. Use Island Scan, or it's specific to a certain day, or it's an SOS battle thing, and it's like, I'm just gonna give it to myself when I reach the area that it's in, instead of wasting yeah. five hours getting the damn thing. That's what I did for my fighting type fusion run. If I knew a Pokemon was available in a region, I'd just give it to myself, because a lot of the fighting types were starter Pokemon with low spawn rates. <sighs> Crazy that we lived on one there. The oh. berry is actually helpful! The berry's gonna save us. <laughs> what were the world where the berry matters? Oh! It's a dual yeah, type run work. doing psychic fighting run. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, isn't that just Gallade? 
No, but I think they mean uh, they can only use psychic or fighting types. Oh, whenever I hear people talk about a dual type run, I assume it's they can only use Pokemon that have that type combination. Nah, you would be limited to only Gallade, and you would be. It would take a long time to get one because you can't get a Ralts until the second region, and then you'd have to get a Dawnstone. Yeah. And the only way to do that is find a lot of backpacks. I mean, at least they're on the map. Yeah, and if you play online, a lot of them still spawn in. You got a lot of Japanese players who are still dying. The only time I actually died on the overworld when I was a dummy and I went off that cliff right at the campfire in the first region, thinking I would live. I'm gonna be honest, Tim, in my recent playthrough, I think that is the only time I died as well. <laughs> that exact same thing. I was just running forward thinking I would live and it was a much bigger fall than I thought. There's, uh, a fall, yeah, you, there's you... fall damage in Legends Arceus, well there isn't in Ooh. Gen 9. Hmm. Okay, this snubble is a problem. Wait a minute! Are we actually gonna do flail? What's the worst that could happen? I hate everything. That's eh, fine. Well, we're dead. This we probably weren't gonna win first time anyway. Like I imagine we're gonna get through this fight, but we'll get through this fight. We're not gonna continue out of it, but. Yeah, you can find Dawnstones in Distortion Areas, but it is not reliable. I managed to get the Porygon items pretty easily doing that, but I got lucky with that. It took me forever to even get the the three shards that you need from Distortion Areas for that one quest. That took forever. Uh... Okay. I mean, the shards were very common spawns when distortion areas happened for me. Not for me, for some reason. Well, the green shards were what never showed up. You guys have any interesting comics, by the way? Eh. Not really, unless you count One Piece, because manga is Japanese comics. <laughs> I tend to just... I, I usually just watch stuff when it gets adapted. Other than that, meh. I mean, I've been watching the new season of Invincible, although... While I have looked at summary videos of the comics, I have not read the comics directly. He has the starters, Diglett, Chin Chow, and Chickatent, Totatent, Sintatent, Dig Tent, Chin Tent, and Bell's Tent. Hey, if you have a Chin Tent, you probably need to go on a diet. Uh, at this at this point in the comics was when Image did a crossover with Marvel and Invincible met Spider-Man and the Aven and the Avengers. Because his name was Spider-Man, when Invincible met the Avengers, he was like, Okay, so you're Flag Man, you're Claw Man, gets to Luke Cage, Black Man? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Freaking, uh, apparently Miles Morales has a fucking Super Saiyan mode all of a sudden. Yeah, I think yes. Miles Morales gets... is just better Peter Parker is what I'm learning. Yeah, he has this form where he decides to just go all out with his, uh, bioelectricity, and it just, like, makes him super fast and strong, and it basically is just Super Saiyan mode. This is on top of the fact that, like, last year they gave him the ability to create swords with his electricity. Jeez. Miles Morales, I, I hate that, like, the original Spider-Man has nothing on Miles Morales now. Like, in the, in the Spider-Man 2 game, in order to make up for the fact that Miles Morales has, like, a billion different abilities uh, compared to regular Spider-Man, they had to give Spider-Man, like, technology and just be like oh he invented this at some point They're ready to go. so like yeah it's like, it's like uh miles has like you know his electricity i'm probably dead here his electricity and ah fuck i was really hoping i could get something in uh he has like his electricity his invisibility uh there was i swear to god there was something else that it's not occurring to me and then peter is just like i have like i i, I have a machine on in my suit that makes arms sprout out the number of remaining pokemon is two to three but it's still early <laughs> peter what do you have that i don't miles electric constructs electric grabs electric super mode electric everything else <laughs> peter mm, miles living parents 
<laughs> Peter, motherfucker. Miles, I literally cannot fuck your mother. Peter, bitch. Hey, Peter has one thing Miles doesn't, a decent fucking haircut. Uh, I mean, that depends on which Miles you're looking at. Well, it's because of that, that, that suit that you get at the end of uh, Spider-Man 2 fucking sucks. It's, What's the it's point of a always, secret identity if 90% of your face is out? I know, it's right? Always, yeah, it's always also going to be funny to me that when Spider-Man 2 initially launched, they accidentally put the Cuban flag in Miles' house when he's Puerto Rican. Jesus. Oof. The flags are very similar, but the reds and blues are in different places. I was going to say, in Spider-Man 2, Peter has a much better suit. Yeah. Like, the main thing they give Peter in every version is that he's more skilled and smarter than Miles, but in a fight, your intelligence can only get you so far most of the time. Yeah. It's well, like, yeah, cool, that's great and all, but Miles has this move that actually lets me clear the room of enemies. Yeah. The only other thing I, I can mean, think of that Peter has that Miles doesn't is, like, the black suit, and again, that's only in some versions. And there's definitely a bunch of, like, universes out there where Miles got the black suit. His main suits are always black. You know what I mean. <laughs> Please don't bring up Paul again. Who? Uh, is that the name of the guy who MJ had kids with behind Peter's back? What? Yeah, there was a storyline where people didn't, people were really upset about where MJ was seeing this other guy and had his kids instead of being with Peter because the, the writers don't like Peter being happy. Yeah, that's another thing. Can they stop fucking over Peter? Every single movie or game or just any continuity ever that has Peter in it, he always ends off worse than he started. Also, uh, we fail. Damn it. Yeah. I thought we had a fair Se team. Seems like Diglett would be a good catch because it has one of the highest speed stats. Current, ult current ultimate run is doing Peter good. All right, so we get, no, Charmander again. Charvelian, the bird. All right. Any day get, okay. <laughs> okay, Rhyhorn's not bad. <laughs> Our attack is roll out. Unfortunate. Diglett, Diglett, yes! Let's see if we actually have Diglett, a good Diglett. Diglett, Diglett, Diglett. It gets magnitude, and it has a high speed stat. Abra's useless. Ah! Uh, you it, say it that! Gets, it gets psychic and thief, it's good. <laughs> Abra might be the, the clutch here. Okay, you... And Togepi's bad. Why do you exist? Can't use you, can use you. Uh, 12 Bubble Beam, that's actually all right. I think Staryu, Abra, and then either Diglett or wow. Charmander would probably be good. Staryu has most of its stats in the double digits, not bad. Yeah. Okay, Diglett, Abra, Staryu is a good get, we can work with this. And we have Charmander in case, for whatever reason, that, like, if Charmander ever were, is better. Let's see. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, let's see. You. You're the physical attacker, so confusion. Uh. Let's try speaking, again. Of, speaking of people with electric powers, Max, I was wrong. The infamous games are on PS Plus. It's just that the list they have on their official website doesn't list them for some reason. Ah. Might have but, to check that it, out you know, then. Do whatever you're going to do. I, I decided to just bite the bullet, break out my PS3, and buy the PS3 collection. They'll be here tomorrow. Nice. 
Uh, let's see. We don't have anything for water types anymore. I was also astonished to learn that if you just plug your PS4 controller into your PS3, it works. So good backup if it turns out my 10-year-old controller doesn't want to work right. <laughs> Squirtini! They go into battle mode. I decree that this turtle shall perish. Ah. Ah. Get him on the next one. Live. I don't know, Avra is made of paper. Okay, it doesn't live the next attack, but it'll get this thing down. Booga, booga, booga. Come on, Mankey. Come on, be an idiot. Doc Ock will be great with Eggman vibes. I mean... Hmm. Both of them have very different versions. Depending on when you look at them. Oh, oh lived on, lived on one. Well, hang We're on, dead. there's no way Constrict kill like one shots us. So. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay. Cool. Booga, booga, booga. Okay. Yeah, this is looking pretty safe. Want to hear an absolutely insane fact I learned about Eggman in the comics? Go for it. Ha ha! You fool! Perish! Oh yeah, we one shot this one. Oh, we're not going to be able to bring Abra in the next one because of uh, everything that every, everything they have has a uh, has dark moves. Oh yeah, they all know bite. It's okay. We have Charmander, Diglett, Staryu. Staryu is not psychic type yet. Yep. Abra, sweet. In the Archie comics, modern Eggman is a clone from another universe who took over the er, took over from the original Robotnik who died, and modern Eggman was a robot until an alien made him human. Yeah, that sounds like comic shit. The Sonic IDW comics are actually pretty tame in comparison to Archie. You know what bothers it? Like, I wouldn't say it bothers me, but you know what I find very weird and odd? This The Sonic IDW comics, which are amazing and well-loved, are a sequel to Sonic Forces. <laughs> also, apparently Sonic Frontiers is supposed to take place in the same universe because they mention Whisper and Tangle at the very end. Yeah. Uh... But... But is like, are they ever gonna bring Whisper and Tangle and Surge and all the other comics-only characters to a game, please? They mentioned Sticks too, who is from Boom. Yeah, I think they're. I think the idea with the, uh, I was gonna say Infinite with Frontiers is like, like a. I think they probably just shout out the characters to like, you know, make fans happy. But also, I, I imagine it's like they're trying to, kind of, converge everything. I know Sonic Frontiers was written partially by Ian Flynn, who does the comics. Not his best work. The story in Frontiers has some good parts to it, but then it's like, oh, the second Sonic actually comes to, comes to his virus, his friends just give themselves up to immediately fix it. There's no problem after all. Yeah, it uh... I stand by what, I, what I've said multiple times. Uh, Sonic is great when it's anything except a video game. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even bother with the Frontiers DLC, because everyone, even people who like the DLCs, or even people who like Frontiers said the DLC's trash. Because it's just a bunch of those tower climbing segments from the base game, but longer and with less checkpoints. It's the Fury Swipes monster. And as many people have said before, Going fast and being precise are two things that don't go together in a 3D game. Yeah. Don't you love when Sonic game... You have Thunder Punch? 
Oh, 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 we live, but Jesus Christ. We need a high roll to kill it. Yeah, hmm. Do I just switch? He's probably gonna do it again. So oh yeah, switch to Diglett, switch to Diglett. Yeah. Hey, Solar. And Diglett definitely Fr outspeeds. Frontiers was all right. I'll probably give the, the DLC a chance soon. I believe it's free DLC at least, so. Yeah. Why didn't you Thunder Punch? He missed oh, either he missed. way. I'm waiting for what Max was going to say because I'm probably always going to be the devil's advocate as a fangirl. Wait, wait, what was I going to say? What was I talking about? I got distracted by Thunder Punch. <laughs> I know it's something Whoa. about. I know it was something <laughs> about Sonic, but. Yeah. Uh, hang on. Uh, let's see. I, I said yes. that like Sonic. Sonic is great when it's anything except a video game. It was something after I said about speed and precision not going right. together. Right. Yeah. Uh, don't you love when the Sonic games uh, decide to have points where this game about just running fast, they're suddenly like, "All right, stop and solve this puzzle," or like, "Stop and do this platforming segment." Oh, this cat is fucked. <laughs> Shane Dawson is here. Not to mention the amount of times where. You're doing a lot of the segments you do to get the medal so that you can do the actual missions, they just break. For me, I encountered a lot of points where I was did where a weird bug occurred when I was transitioning from the normal part of the game to the Force 2D segments. Puzzle thing when it was taken out led to Colors Lost World of Forces. Colors was good from what I've heard though. Yeah, people liked Colors because it just used the, the generation engine. Colors is like considered the best or even only good uh, 3D Sonic game. It is, but it's also oh. hated now. Was the remake bad or something? Or the remaster? Yes. Yes, the remaster was bad. Ah, well. Then play the original, idiots. <laughs> well, if you have a Wii. Or a Wii U. Fucking everyone has a Wii, Tim! I'm just saying. Colors has entered his hate. I say that in Rhinos here in the chat. Well, actually, uh, upon the remaster coming out, a lot of people were coming out to be like, oh, the original was never good, blah, blah. No, no. Hard copium. Uh, let's see. If I bring... Let's see. Staryu is good against two of them. Diglett is good against two of them. And weak to four of them, so fucking not bringing Diglett. Uh, let's see. Uh... Aver's not going to be weak to anything they have unless they have a dark move on standby. Yeah, I think start with Aver for safety and then bring Charmander and Staryu. I don't. I he's fine. Uh, okay, let me, let me correct that. Everyone, like, pretty much everyone has had a Wii. If they got rid of it, that's their fault. Every Sonic game seems to have a hated arc, whether regardless of whether it's true or not. Let me see how much a brand new Wii that you can just get off get off the internet is. It's like it, it's not nearly old enough to be crazy expensive, so it's probably like uh, not even a hundred, probably. Look at that oh, yeah, depending on where you're looking to, they range from anywhere from thirty dollars to eighty. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's not that bad. Also, uh, yeah, we're confused yeah, right get, now. You can get a Wii just fine nowadays. Please low magnitude. Hmm. No. 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 Abra is no. Abra is no physical defense. Whenever I see Abra shaking around like that, when it's about to faint, I keep thinking it's about to fall apart into pieces. I think Colors, as soon as it got the It Always Suck People, was at the same time Unleashed got a massive surge in its cult fandom of was actually really good. Okay, here's the thing about Unleashed. The Wii, what was it? It's like the Wii version has way too many Werehog levels. Whereas, yeah, I think whereas the, the I think X, whereas the Xbox and PlayStation versions take out the hub world, or something like that. Uh, I think the, the Wii version and the other versions are different. I, I, maybe the Wii version had. Well, maybe the Werehog sections in the Wii version were just worse because they probably implemented flailing controls. I don't know if they did. I know that I played the when I when I played I the the uh, the the Wii version. Like 
uh, there I would get to like more and more werehog levels and I'd be like, oh my god, can we get back to the running parts? The Wii version fast the go. For what I recall from what I can recall, the Wii version actually might have fewer werehog stages, but I don't know. Well, so much for that light screen. Just one Pokemon remains. Well, Charmander, you have to do the work of two here. This is the last Pokemon. Charmander. Okay, we are faster than Chikorita. Remember that fucking asshole, like, early in the Pokemon anime who, like, trained his Sandshrew by throwing it into water and he was supposed to be the good guy? No, nope. I don't remember that. Like, he, he, I, 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 his name was AJ or something, I think? It was, oh, it, fuck. Yeah, this is a problem. Uh, by the power of Sunny Day! <laughs> But it, but it was it was something like uh, he he trained his Pokemon and then Ash like challenged him to a battle and lost and then the the rest of the episode was like this guy is doing the right thing by abusing his fucking Pokemon and putting like these weird collars on them and that and yeah I don't fucking know please all right I guess I'll try flamethrower yeah. Oh shit! This guy has a, this guy spammed swagger on all of his stuff. I think that's his uh, gimmick. Please. All right. No. Okay, we're screwed now. We did our entire health bar on that one self hit. Ah, oh, I should have just done flamethrower for the start. This still would have happened, but. Eh. Ooh, game over already? Oh, it's almost like you, uh, you win when you use, uh, like, cheese tactics on level 5 Pokemon. This dude's fucking name is Grant. I'll grant you a kick in the balls. GG, no re- Well, here's the I mean, re, so fuck off. Our Abra was just one shot, that's where he got us there. Anyone played Princess Peach Showtime at? I have 100 percented it. It's alright, it's not worth the price. I'm gonna wait because I'm not paying sixty dollars for an eight-hour game. Yeah, it's 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 very fun, but it's very short for that price. It's it, it, like get it on sale, but get it. <laughs> uh, Too bad uh, Nintendo games never drop in price. I really love it, but I got it super discounted. Yeah, if you get it discounted, then that's great. Like, even if you buy it full price, it's still a fun time. I just don't think it's worth it because it basically comes out to ten dollars per hour, and that's and that's if you hundred percent it. And hundred like, percent is like you you have to play through all the levels again to find like these hidden ninja guys after you beat the game. It's stuff like, like that. I, ninja guy. I, I don't like always comparing the game's price to its playtime. I only got like 10 hours out of Metroid Dread. But where, that was also back when uh, money was less of a concern. But prices on everything keep going up while money go down. Yeah, it's... it's uh, also, hang on. What do, okay, what do I do this time? I guess I start with... Hmm. So like I felt... Fucking... Yeah, I don't know fucking, what to do I was at the grocery store the other day, and one bag of Doritos was five fifty. Hey, Jesus Christ! Yeah, Princess Peach Showtime is dead. It, it's fun. It's just, yeah, I, I typically try not to compare like time to price as well. But yeah, like Tim said, with the way things are, it that that game I feel like should be. Cause it was like with tax, it was ninety dollars Canadian. It should be like two, if two thirds of that at most. Also, yeah. Why? Well, with that's unlucky start. I guess we'll have to just immediately switch into Charmander. I guess we'll just die. I mean, we know Charmander one shots this thing. Peach's outfits are great. I find it. I still find it a little weird that there's ninja and kung fu. Don't do it again. I mean, those are different things. I know, but they're they you they're asshole. like they they have kind of the same play style, except for the fact that uh, uh ninja has like the ability to do stealth. Really? And they they swap too. And we're probably just gonna hit ourselves. Go, Totodile. 
Did you say we turn dial? We don't have anything for turn dial either. And we did hit ourselves. Okay, we already lose. Jeez. I think we're screwed now. I didn't think we'd have so much trouble in the fucking petite cup. The first two trainers are easy. It's this guy. Are you fucking kidding me? It's this asshole. <laughs> Let's just quit out now. We can't win. I'm not giving up. What? Look, if we're lucky, Abra sweep. I know I'm huffing copium, but I'm gonna try. Yeah, can I try some of that? God. I managed to avoid spoilers for all the outfits, well, except for Kung Fu now in Max Adventure. Oh, sorry. Only ones I know are Patisserie, Cowgirl, Sword uh, Fighter, and Ninja. Avoided the trailers to be surprised when I play this game. Okay, we will not talk about any of the other ones. Oh, but I mean, that one's on the box art, though. The one, Kung Fu, that's on the box. She bought it without the box. <laughs> nice crit with three HP left, or four, or whatever. I mean, at least Abra took no damage, but we are confused again. I did buy it without the box. I bought the digital edition. Fair. Uh, I will say, like, without talk without talking about the outfits themselves, I do like the way they divided it up, like, between the uh, the levels. Basically. Every outfit has two levels plus a bonus level. Well, I say bonus level, it is technically a required level. But it's I, it's a smaller level. I am going to at least argue if something's on the box art, it's not a spoiler no matter what. Yeah, I, like, I'm with that, but still, I'm, I'm still going to avoid... Because I think it's, it, it's like, it's Kung Fu, Patisserie, and Sword Fighter are the ones on the box art. Oh my god. We're paralyzed. I mean, there's no, we'll no point. There's no point in not just swinging for it. Yeah. Okay, I'm dead. We're gonna have to rely on Staryu. We have to hope Staryu's faster than Chincha, which it should be. And then we still have to deal with Chikorita. Uh, we can just use Swift here and be fine. Yeah. Oh, cool! It's faster than us, and it also knows a confusion move. I've managed to make 11 memes within the hour. Really? Has there even been anything meme-worthy? Has anything happened? It might have just been, it might just be memes about what we've been talking about. Oh boy. This thing knows Razor Leaf, we are so screwed. Yeah. The only thing we have that can do decent damage is Swift. I feel like it's been too long since, uh... Since I've had a sunny meme break. Haven't been streaming as much recently because Pokemon D and D is cancelled for the next few weeks. Well, well not necessarily. You guys never said anything whenever I said maybe it'll happen Sundays. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I'm planning. I'm planning. Uh, to, I'm planning to. Are you not able to do Sundays, Tim? Not this Sunday because it's Easter Sunday. Yeah, but like in, in general, I think it won't be like we're not. It's not going to be Wednesdays. Uh, uh, not consistently. But did you drink for the three hydrates? Yes, I did. In general, Jero said the next two Monday to fi Monday to Fridays are full, and we well, can't do Saturday, of course. Well, we can see about Sunday the week after next. Yeah. <sighs> God, what the fuck do I even do? Unfortunately, it's also it's gonna be raining for us this Easter Sunday, but we're gonna set up a little party in our apartments clubhouse area like we've done a couple times before. <sighs> it's gonna be my my niece's first real Easter because at her last Easter she was only four months old, so what could you do? Probably gonna switch 
I'm, hmm. I'm thinking he's going to switch to Totodile, and I'm thinking of using this turn for just... Sunny Day. What do you guys think? I'm thinking just set up Sunny Day first round, too, because then we have more consistently high damage flamethrowers. Yep, yeah, I he does it. switch round one. <clears throat> I was actually thinking about this last time, but I wasn't sure if the AI yeah, was smart enough to swap in this fight. Totodile. Totodile. Don't you remember? Grow Lice. It's probably, gonna it's probably going to swagger, but we are faster than it. We can see how much a flamethrower gets here. I and still of course, Ludicolo. I still say I want to do the Pokey Rap, but pronounce every Pokemon's name as wrong as possible. Electrode! <laughs> That was pretty good. Yeah, we took we took out almost half its health on a non-super effective or on a on a resisted move there. Hi, Keicha. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, our basically. luck our luck with confusion and Charmander has not been great. Come on, kill. No, it was ten on both. I mean, this isn't going to kill us, but if we hit ourselves on the confusion, we're dead. He crit. He fucking crit! Come on, game. The, the surf. I mean, the sunny day didn't even do anything there. Okay, we can go star you, and then Swift, and he's dead. What? What do you mean it gets focus banned on a baby? This is the third Pokemon in this cup. What do you mean it gets a focus banned? How's that? Oh, it's confusion made it tougher. I was gonna say we can't even risk doing setup moves against this guy because he just spams confusion moves. And then that happens. But the other one looks tired. Why does why did the NPCs get all the good held items while we get berries? Berries. What will it do? Hit that inflicted some damage. The guy has grown weaker. It used a berry to restore it. Of course they get a crit and then the 10% focus band goes off. And then we kid ourselves twice. This is just the luckiest person ever. I hope he gets drunk and... You know what? No, I'm not going to go forward because that's going to get very uh, graphic with my threats. Okay, it didn't activate a second time. I don't think if... I really think if you're at 1 HP, the focus band shouldn't be able to work. I feel like the focus band shouldn't work, period. What is the name of the trainer fighting? Grant. I'm thinking of just doing light screen for my turn because I'm probably faster, but I'm going to die. I guess. All we have left is Abra, so we just have to hope that Abra can sweep. Luckily, weather effects... Well, actually, we already got rid of its Totodile. It's not going to do any water moves, though, because the sunny day is going to consistently make those weaker. Well, the sunny day ran out already. Oh, uh, I thought weather effects were permanent back then. Nah. I don't think weather effects have ever been permanent. Okay. We know Abra's faster than this thing, but... Actually, no, wait, it got confused right now this last time, I think. No, Abra is faster, okay. Might be a speed tie. I might be thinking of it confusing the star you. It's fine, uh, but one psychic still kills it. But now the problem shows Malicious up. chin tent. Okay, this is actually just a Chikorita. Yeah, hopefully so, our confusion wears off, though. If we hit ourselves at any point, we just lose. Yeah. Ugh.
We just need one more hit. Oh, that, wait nice, for the turn. Nice reflect, loser. Okay, we actually yeah, have... Yeah, gotta protect yourself from all of Abra's physical attacks. Yeah, now we have two chances. We have two chances here, come on. Yes, we win! Oh my god. <sighs> Fuck you, Grant. He got all the possible luck in the world on round one and still lost. She's mom friend coded. Oh. Got a crit, his focus band, and then two confusion procs and still lost. <sighs> Seen all hail King Julian. Uh, I have not. Oh, it's the mother of all these kids. Uh, Abra's <laughs> very good here because there's a lot of poison types. Tyrogan, Perrin, Geodan, Spinneran, Zuban, and Shruan. Four members of her team are weak to Psychic, and the other two are weak to Water. Yeah, and then I'll bring, uh... Diglett. Diglett, dig, diglet, dig. Trio, trio, trio. Come on, Abra, we got this. Great. We're definitely faster and Tyro gets shitty stats. We can one shot. Perish! We killed Joe Rogan's brother, Ty. Come on, send out a poison type. Send out a poison type. It's fine. Geodude has shitty special defense. Geodude. True. Abra might just sweep here. I would love that. Come on. Yeah! Yes! Okay, if she brought out any of her poison types, we just win. Unless there's a Zubat who knows Bite, then that might be an issue. Okay, this is a poison type. We no, win. No, it's not. It's Bug Grass. Right, no. We still, we it's probably still grass. don't have to worry, but it's Bug, it's Bug Grass. It's not poison. Right, 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 right. It's so okay. But Paris it's also, it's bad. also a Paris. So this probably doesn't one shot. No. It doesn't. It did we're four. Asleep. It's okay, we have three Pokemon get to get through this one. Hey, guess what? <laughs> oh, we had... Okay, we just win now. <laughs> we beat the teacher with zero damage taken. The fact that we didn't even take damage should give us an extra extra continue. <laughs> Oh god, not the Paris. Pokemon Legends Arceus PTSD. Look how easy that was. The Abra line Why do you have all those good fairies in, in your portrait if you're not fighting with them? <laughs> the Abra line is broken in the first two gens. Yeah. Do -do 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 -do. Hello there. I see all sorts of Pokemon in the grass on my home way home from my tutors. Clark! Oh no! It's Clark! Hmm. Hmm, his team comp is his team comp is pretty diverse. Mareling, Echoling, Natuling, Growling, Smoochling, Larvaling. Hmm. So let's we see. Ele electric poison, flying psychic, fire, ice psychic, and rock round. Psychic doesn't have any instant weaknesses from these. They might have dark moves, but who knows. Water is good against two of them and bad for one of them. Charmander is Charmander's home. only good Charmander's only good against Smoochum. Diglett is good against four of them, so I think start with Diglett and then bring Abra and Staryu. Yeah, Diglett's good here. I'm a Diglett! Round five begins now. I'm a Smoochum! Well, that's bad for us. We're definitely faster. Do we want to go for it? Could the Smooch... Uh, what ice moves would Smoochum have? Ice Punch? Probably. Woo! 
it it is literally a baby like it's actually a baby pokemon that has been classified as such so its stats are shit whether or not we kill it is based on the level of magnitude we roll yeah i would love a 10 right now eh? eight is good eight is good no oh it went for oh. sweet kiss which is a sleep move Oh no, it's a confusion no, move. No, it's a ha <laughs> Wow, lucky with the berries twice. Okay, now we just kill. Yeah. Magnitude is 100 accuracy, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, mag magnitude doesn't miss. Okay. Oh no, magnitude 5. <laughs> 5 is greater than 2. Yeah. That is math. Oh, this is great for us. Hopefully. There it goes. Oh, good roll. Again. This should one shot. Yeah, I don't know. It's defense. St okay. That was a high roll and it was super effective. I was worried about its defense stat. All right, come on, Diglett sweep, Diglett sweep, Diglett sweep, Diglett sweep, switch, 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 switch. This is great Rolla. for us too. Okay, Rolla. we're good. We have a we have a water and a ground type left in our team. We got this. Another eight. We rolled and a three. Crit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Zero damage taken in two rounds. Get wrecked, nerd. <laughs> your, tu your tutor should have looked over your team and told you you have a super weakness to ground. <laughs> I'll get my tutor to teach me some more about this. Yeah. You good idea. Your tutor's probably ashamed of you. All right. Oh, hello the fact there. He, considering the fact he looks Asian, you're probably right. Hello, Korra. Never seen a tropical Pokemon trader like this. I thought <laughs> okay. for a second I thought for a second I thought Oddish's I thought Oddish's stems were ex executor for a second. <laughs> Clefaps. <laughs> Good old Clefaps. <laughs> Teeny apps. What's the hoot apps? Hoot apps. Odd apps. Whoop apps. Kabu apps. <laughs> Tag yourself. I'm. <laughs> no, we're all Clefaps. We all know it. Uh huh. We don't have anything great against this team comp. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the... Ab Abra is good against Oddish. So, normal dragon, normal flying, grass poison. Groundwater and rock water. Water doesn't Grass resist. Poison. Water doesn't resist ground, so Diglett would be good against Kabu. Kabu. Kabu apps. There we go. I, I was like, is it Kabuto or Kabutops? It doesn't say either of them. It's Kabu apps. Diglett's actually pretty bad here because there's two water types in her grass. Yeah. No, say it ain't so. I think Charmander is good to bring. Well, hmm. hmm. There's no real point in bringing Staryu, I don't. I think, though. Like, because Staryu would be neutral against uh, Kabutops and Kabuto and Wooper. And if that's the case, oh, I can use Abra on them. So, I think start... Hmm. Rhyhorn, do you have anything useful? No, you don't. Go away. Sadness. Togepi? I don't know why I even looked. <laughs> Metrodome. Yeah, Metro. What if? What if? What if? We got we got two continues. <laughs> Alright, uh. Let's see. I'm thinking the team we bring is Diglett, Charmander, Abra. I'm just deciding who to start with. Well, I could actually Diglett's... Hmm. It would probably be better to bring Staryu because Diglett's weak to three of them and can't do anything to Hoot Hoot. So... <sighs> Staryu is only weak to one of them. So I'm going to start Staryu and then Charmander Abra. Well, I'm a star! 
Yeah. I am the dome. So what so what what do you think are the eyes on Kabuto? Is it the the little dots on its shell or is it the pink things? It's it's the eyes. The pink things. So what are those dots on a shell, Rhino? It's nose. <laughs> Weren't ready for that, were you? <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. Oh, God, fuck off. Not this again. That's kind of my thought right now is this Griffin ambushes me. Wait, I thought for a moment it missed. I thought it missed for a moment because it, it it went over to Kabuto and the bubbles were just going past it for a moment. Wait, I got it. I got it. Uh, Kabuto's dots on its head is it trying to copy Ditto. <laughs> it's trying to be Ditto's Ditto. Why'd they make our star you so wiggly in this, by the way? When in the anime, the thing the, in the anime, the thing's like stiff. I got no idea. Maybe they were trying to make it more like a real starfish, even though Staryu is clearly like made of metal. It's, it is not made of metal. Staryu's like Star Staryu and Starmie are like aliens. I mean, the gem in the middle is like surrounded by a gold thing, but it, it's not. Its arms and legs are, I figure, were like you know, whatever you call the starfish equivalent of flesh. Flesh. Okay. Making sure. Okay, you guys noticing that it pans over to Kabuto and doesn't show him getting hit immediately, and it keeps making me think it's gonna miss. It was definitely an interesting experience when I was in like fourth or fifth grade, and we went to an aquarium. The one in the and, enemy is erect. <laughs> and uh, one of the people there took out a starfish for us to look at, and they happened to get one of the starfish who was in the middle of eating, and to eat starfish puke their stomach up. Yep. Yeah. Is it like they puke their stomach up and they put it against the food and it digests the food like that or something? I'm not quite sure, but I know they eject their stomach from their body. Berry juice? What's a berry oh, juice? It's berries, but better after you give it to a shuckle and they make it into juice somehow. I just know the process takes a year, apparently. It's also interesting seeing a starfish walk, because it's just there are like hundreds of little tendrils moving around. We Never steps could be across the carpet. We might, we might be in trouble. We might still have this as long as she didn't bring Wooper. Please have brought Oddish. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Bleh! Okay, this kills for sure. Yeah, especially with the defense lowered. Well, special defense. It's... Okay. Please, Oddish. Oddish, just not Wooper, honestly. Oh, it's oh that's, also, that's, that's not great either. That's also bad. Oh yeah. That's also bad. Mm, well, uh, do I sunny day? I think probably not. Let's just see. How, let's see how much flamethrower does. Be resisted, so I'm gonna guess like five. Please burn. I it, was did, right. it did burn. Why oh, do you no. have surf? Oh god damn it. We're dead. Sunny day might have helped. Not when it did that much damage. Jeez. We would have lost the damage race but by getting a free turn. And there's very little you can do about Dratini in this generation. Yeah, unless you have, like, an ice type. We kind of need Abra for Drahini. Yeah. Yep. Get back here, you bitch. You got close enough that your boss bar appeared. Then you just leave. Let's what do we see. start with? <sighs> mm, we can't... Uh, do we just lead Staryu? Or Charmander? Star you and then bring Charmander and Abra. We're basically doing the same thing as last time and hoping that things go different. Okay. So it'll be neutral to our bubble beam. Both get ready 
need to go. Swapping? You're switching to Oddish, aren't you? You're switching to Oddish. You're switching to fucking Oddish. Yep. Yeah. Okay, then we just switch to Charmander. I'm Dargan! We know what two of their Pokemon are now. Okay, this will do like two damage at most. It crit. Stop critting! Never! What? We only ever get crits when they're gonna die regardless. Now they're gonna switch back to Kabuto. And we're gonna do one damage with Flamethrower. Ah, dude. We got like, a crit. crit. They crit all the time, and we only get crits when it doesn't help. That hurt a lot. <laughs> Do we just swift predicting the switch again? I don't think swift is gonna do more damage because Staryu doesn't exactly have good physical attack. Mm. Do we do a setup move? Because we have hardened and light screen. I already hit bubble beam. <sighs> Nothing's changed because it's still full health. It's gonna just switch again. I got it. I got you now. This Pokemon is rejoining the battle. The other trainer is also changing Pokemon. Booga booga booga! All right. You're not supposed to be faster. Oh my god, how is it faster? Okay, this hopefully kills with it being hurt. Okay. We're super effective against Oddish, too. And she no longer has... Well, she might have Wooper, She might have Routine. But... Okay, we're super effective against Oddish. If we can get a hit, it kills. Hmm. I'm kind of debating switching to Charmander, because then Abra loses its confusion, and I should be able to get a Flamethrower off next turn. Okay. I think I'm going to do that, because if if I hit myself in confusion, Abra's dead, and then we're, we're, we're screwed, because we need Abra. Like it's gonna use Giga Drain. That's Sludge Bomb. Oh, we're dead. It's fine. We still got rid of Abra's Confusion. Okay. So I'll take it. Switch to Abra. Abra should one shot. And nothing on her team resists psychic damage, so if she switches, that's just free damage for us. And a crit. Easy hit. Easy shot. I don't think we needed it there, but it helps. Good bitch. Okay. Oh god, it's, it lost its leaves! Oh my wow. god! Oh my godish! You killed the little radish. 
Oh, we got this. It's two versus one. Yeah, let's see. I don't think this kills, but it'll be good. Wow, it would have done one. It has Earthquake. Well, come on, Abra. It's Abra. Okay. Well, Staryu is faster, and we Swift, and we win. Just one Pokemon remains. If it has a Focus Band... I mean, how many times would they pull that trick? As many as it takes to make us leave. I hit the wrong thing, but whatever. Okay, it only has to do one damage. It's fine. We win! Whoopaps! Okay, we're halfway done with this segment. Halfway? We're more than halfway! Oh, is this the third trainer for this one? Oh, no, you meant the say Okay, no. Uh, no, we are halfway done Does the bottom half. Yeah. Yeah, we're halfway- we're halfway done with the- So we're three- okay. we're three qu we're three quarters done the little cup. Alright, two more. We have a pretty good team comp right now, it's carried us far. Teacher Tina. Hmm. Elekid, Sentret, Vulpix. Let's see. Fire is good against two of them. And yep. not... Swine of Mate uh, could be slightly problematic. D Diglett is good against two of them as well. Yep. The only thing that... And bug type is shit in this generation, so nothing is that bad against Abra. There's no so real... There's no, do... point bring, there's no point bringing Star you. So I think we do Charmander, Diglett, Abra. Yeah. Honestly, we maybe even could have done Rhyhorn there if it wasn't for the fact that Rollout's its only attack move. Yeah. I mean, it has Horn attack, but yeah. Rollout would be good against Scyther. Ah, unlucky. Neutral battle to start off. Yeah. We might be faster than Elekid. Nope. It's an Electric type. At least we didn't get paralyzed. Electivire loses a lot of its speed for more power. Alright. Do, do we swap Diglett? Yep. Goodbye! Honestly, we maybe should have done that first. <laughs> Alright. So... It's, it's safe to magnitude here no matter what. Yeah, I don't know if we're faster. We're not. Wait, I like this move. Quick attack. I don't actually know! The, the NPC covered whatever they were doing, but I think it was quick attack. Because I can't imagine any other priority moves that uh, Elekid has. I mean, Elekid might just be faster than Diglett. I doubt that. We're definitely faster than Sentry. We can just magnitude and see what happens. I'm sorry, what the fuck did that just say? It confused itself somehow? Why is it confused? Berserk Gene. So it's stronger but confused? <laughs> Confuses the holder for a duration of 256 turns and raises attack by two stages as soon as it enters battle. Okay, so if it hits us, we die. Jesus Christ. You want to know the... You want to know something about Berserk Gene, by the way? It's literally an end game, like, end of post game item from Gold, Silver, Crystal. I've never heard of this item. It, you find it where you would normally find Mewtwo. Okay, let's just see what we do. It's gonna kill us if it hits, but... Yes! Idiot! <laughs> now we just kill you. Uh... Fuck. Uh, it was magnitude 5. It might kill itself still. I should have done Slash. Kill yourself. In game. Damn it. This might be bad. Do we just sack the Charmander? Yeah. 
Either Sentra it takes itself out, or Charmander survives. Well, no. Those are the same thing. Well, you... What?! Wow, after two turns?! Well, three turns, actually. Confused but... for 256 turns! Eat my ball sack! It, I guess I forgot to mention it can just break out of it. And it's, it has quick attack with plus two. I think we lose here. Really? Really? And it crit! Come on! This game fucking cheats so hard, dude. This game has way more crits than I ever see in the main series. I don't care what anyone says, this game actively cheats. I don't care what the fuck people say about, oh no, it's the same as in the main games, you just don't really notice it as much in the main- fuck off. Should we take a second to do a meme break? Nah, cause this is our, la this is our last chance anyway. So, because we, we're out of continues. I offer a free mulligan because that was complete bull. Eh. Nah, I don't feel like we can do it on that one. Nah. All right, uh, let's see. There's really not much different we can do. I'll start with Diglett this time. I there's... feel like she's, she's always going to bring out the Sentret. Yeah, there's no real reason to start with anything else. Or, yeah, it, it was honestly a bad idea to not just immediately swap Diglett when we saw the Ella kid. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> Again, the game's cheating. Do we swap Charmander here? Yeah. I, I remember what happened last time we chose not to swap. Oh my god, we're not faster either, we're dead. We're just gonna lose, nothing is faster than Scyther. Scyther is ridiculously OP for what they consider a single stage, because it still has a stat total of 490. Yeah. Beca because Scizor doesn't gain stats, it just swaps them around. <laughs> Well, if anything has a chance of being faster, it's Abra. Alright, I'll just go fuck myself. Nothing is faster than Scyther. It is OP for a single stage. We survived! We're not killing a one-shot. Okay, we lose. Kill it. It's over. <sighs> that is so... That is so broken, dude. That is way too strong. Ah, oh, she didn't even bring the sentry that time. Are you feeling sick? Yeah, I'm sick of your bullshit! Like, what are you supposed to do against a Scyther? It is not a baby Pokemon. It is such a huge edge over all the others. Yeah. Alright. Time for a meme break. Well, uh, we're starting off with a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon trainers, responsible rules and regulations on Pokemon fights. Baby Fight Club! <laughs> <laughs> and then... Sonny seeing Mankini in Pokemon Stadium. Kill the abomination with fire. <laughs> this is basically what it was, yes. Max waking up. Growlithe! <laughs> <laughs> Rhino hearing Max say he got two Pokemon off. I do have that face right now. <laughs> oh, now we have a GIF. We also had a video that was uh, the Gravity Falls baby fight uh, and uh, subtitled Mac What Max is Doing. Hydrate! Bird! Hydrate! Bird! <laughs> I still don't know what that's from. Uh, 
Oh, hang on. You don't you don't know where what is from? The cur the current on screen GIF. Oh, this is from American Choppers. Oh, never even heard of it. It's a uh, at a base level, it's supposed to be about a father and son company who fixes up motorcycles. But uh, as American reality TV does, they splice in fake drama segments for TV. We need a way to get more tourism in the city, gentlemen. Pokemon Baby Fight Club. <laughs> And the most random crossover ever, there's a later season King of the Hill episode that features the American Chopper guys. Jeez. Marvel fans, Peter Parker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where did it save to? Peter Parker seen Miles pull out another electric move. <laughs> What the fuck, man? <laughs> oh, God. No, I don't. This would be horrible. Hang on. Same thing, but now. Max, when Morty shows up again during one of the cops. No. Sonny waiting on Max's Sonic takes to be contrarian. De zero days without Spectre making a cameo. That's not how you spell his name. Uh, I actually forgot, like, yesterday or a couple days ago, they released a short from across this or the spider-verse series that was made in between the movies that they originally weren't even going to release but they did on youtube is it good i haven't watched it i have not watched it yet sonny making 12 memes in the span of an hour a meme per five minutes this is unacceptable <sighs> hang on it didn't here we go when grant tells you he has a chin tent <laughs> oh, I'm glad for this one. Oh, look, there's tiny text there that says go to the doctor. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that one. <laughs> go to the doctor. I am coming to you with malicious chin tent. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go ahead. This is the best one. When she lets you clef apps on her apps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is, what is, this look this guy looks familiar for some reason that's osmosis jones oh right i think i saw like a bit of osmosis jones as a kid all i remember is there was like some live action stuff and then it went back to like a fight between two guys and like, oh yeah this one this, guy, this one guy, this one guy, one guy tried to like punch the other, and the other guy literally split his own body in half to walk around him. And I was like, I don't want to watch this anymore. Yeah, <laughs> this is they can do that. This is a screenshot from the cartoon. That was the movie. The movie came first. Yeah, yeah right. the, the cartoon. Uh, the, it was like entirely animated. Rhino, I didn't understand that it was uh, that they were cells or anything. I just saw a bit of it on a TV at some point, and I was like, oh my god, that man ripped himself in half. <laughs> It is pretty gross. Just like half the movie is Bill Murray doing gross things. Yeah, and that's why I didn't. That's why I prefer. That's why I prefer just when they keep the camera on what's going on inside. Cliff apps on her who apps. <laughs> like like the scene it's where funny the... because that that face he's making it makes it to where that sounds like the kind of nonsense a character would say when they're dazed. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. Like there's there's the scene where they're at the zoo and the monkey takes the hard boiled egg out of his hand, puts it in his mouth, drops it in the pen, and then he still eats the egg. And that's how he gets the disease. But if I want if I want Osmosis Jones, I'll watch Cells at Work and then I'll actually like get anime out of it. Alright. No. No. Yes. It's such a weird movie, too, because there's a scene where they go to this nightclub, and it's Kid Rock as a kidney stone doing a rap. More like Kidney Rock. That's the joke, Max. You I've... got it. 
<laughs> Man, I fucking wish I could have Suicune. Oh, cool. Uh, no, uh, Pika Blue. Was it, oh, wow, we can we can actually use Meryl here, and it's not Azuril. Well, yeah, Azuril is Gen three. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, oh, we, have to, we have to use Goldeen. This team comp is a lot worse than the last one already. I wish. That, we uh, we wait, wait wait they can use Scyther, but we can't use Aerodactyl. No, because Scy Scyther, Scyther has, has, has an evolution. Yeah, like we can uh. use we can use Scyther. But we fucking Why won't get we? it! Anyway, here's Snubble. Ours, ours doesn't have wing attack like theirs did. I hate my life. We can you know use what? Hang, you know, okay, the... Rem hang on. You know, Remorade and then uh, a, a free pick. Free. Ah, this is a right. restart. We can maybe this salvage is... this. We can salvage this. I don't think we can. We have no. Gene's right there. Just at least look at what he's got. Its stats Ooh. are not horrible. Actually, it's only in Psybeam. It has good coverage. Right, here's the thing, Rhino. We have to go through eight battles, and we're going to have three usable Pokemon. Yeah. That's exactly no. how many you need. No! We need more! <laughs> no. Would we just always take Abra on the free pick? Because our Scyther doesn't get any stab moves. What we'll does Voltorb a... look like? Uh, Voltorb's meh. It, got, it has fucking uh, thun- it has thunder. Uh, uh, stats are really good, but its moves aren't. Smoochum's stats aren't bad. Machop's pretty bad. We would basically just take Abra, I'm pretty sure, but, like, we have, and when I say we have three usable Pokemon, I don't mean we have three good Pokemon. I mean, we have one good Pokemon, one all right, and then Snubble is a filler. Yeah, I'm not sure how much better we could do than the one we were just using. There, yeah, like, here's the thing. We take Abra, and we're going to be screwed by, we're going to be screwed by that Chikorita user anyway. Because we don't have any... We, like, even if we try to branch out, we have nothing for Chikorita. So, yeah, this one's a mulligan. I know it's early, but no, this one's a mulligan. There's no way. Alright. So let's try this again with... Nope. 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 That sucks. Maybe he has good moves. Uh, is Weedle... Okay. Maybe I'll it's... just go hang myself in-game. It only gets two moves? Fuck it! Yep. You know, I need to point something out! Weedle has two moves! Magikarp has three! Is Splash technically a move? I mean, you know, uh, no, but still. Uh... Tentacle is not bad. Usable. No. Can't use Giraffe Rig. Can use Mankey. Maybe he'll be good? It gets Cross Chop as its only move. No. 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 <laughs> Stop what? giving us that line, please! <laughs> okay, maybe Sandshrew can do something. Dig! Its stats are pretty bad, too. Can you Zubat? What's it looking like? It gets Wing Attack and Bite. That's toxic. Toxic in this setup. In this economy. Well, this team is pretty bad. This, uh... Pidgey actually has good moves, but too bad the stats aren't great. It has flop. Well, oh, that's quick attack, I guess. <sighs> so basically, it would be Mankey, Tentacle, Pidgey. We would... It's the fact that we have to go through eight back-to-back -back battles. Yeah. I, I'm gonna mulligan the, the fact that we have to go through eight of them is the main sticking point here. We have Spore? Its stats aren't horrible other than its speed. Larvitar. We can't... We can use Larvitar, what's it looking like? 
Rock slide. Rock slide and mud slap. All of its stats are tens. Did I have You can just the go inferior away. Abra. No, 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 no. Polywag. Oh, we don't have we don't actually have a water type yet. It's really fast. We, st we still don't. <laughs> Ponyta. Oh, it's right there. Fire Blast. Furbly. I wish. Nope. 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 Yes. <sighs> Roll out as its only move. Actually, you can defense curl roll out. <laughs> it can do that. Uh, I don't. Does that do a thing? I don't. Yeah. Know if, if you use, if you if you use defense curl and then roll out, it does more damage. I don't know if it did that at this point. Uh, let's see. Uh, Drowsy and Polywag will not be used. Ponyta is basically just fire coverage. So so we have. Two rock types and parrot. Uh, this isn't useful. This isn't usable either. That's the problem. Is none of this is usable. Are you wait, sure? Wait, you wait, wait, hang on. Actually, we can use Shansi. Yeah. Because Blissey exists in this generation. Not too. Like, like if it did it twice, it was like, Chansey, no. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, it was like, hey, hang on. We... You can use Chansey. Not oh. too. Look, it's pretty good. Not too. Look, yeah, pretty hang good. on. Actually, we might have something here. We might have something here. No. Okay. We can you just okay. fuck off? Nobody Geo loves you. Bad, bad. Geodude's not that bad. It has. It's only good. It's only usable move is roll out. Uh, we can oh. use Elekid. Let's look at it. Ooh. Yeah. Thunder Punch. No. No. Oh, you're back. Gastly. We basically, know Gastly's not that bad. We basically just uh. have Thief for him. No. No. Fuck. All right, it's fine. It's okay. we, have, we, have, we have. We have. We have four goat. But we have. I'd say we have we three... have four goat Pokemon. We have three good Pokemon plus two usable ones. This is we have a chance here. We can attempt this one. Yeah, we have a chancey. <sighs> this one is workable. I'm, th I'm wondering if Chansey should be the one with the 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 health berry, so it essentially has fifty health. That would be pretty cheeky. A lot yeah. of the other Pokemon die at points where. They either get down to half health and then die so the berry doesn't work. Or we can put on Chansey, who has a higher chance of the berry procking. Yeah. We know, that a, has... we know a lot of confusion comes up. I'm going to put yes, Confusion sir. Berry on Natu, because Natu is kind of the, the overall coverage for that. For the guys who do that. You sleep, you burn, you paralyze, and you go fuck yourself. Okay. This is doable. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's possible in the same way that, you know, it's possible f to run into a wall and all the atoms in your body miss the atoms in the wall so you run through it. It's like your thing to say now. I learned about it recently, and and it's just it's just my thing now. Quantum. Recently, he says. Re what do you mean? I mean, I mean, recently, quote unquote. It wasn't that recent, but still, like this year. It's still just fun to think about quantum miracles. Anyway, uh, mm, Elekid is good against two of these. Yep, and not bad against any of them. Start with Elekid. Uh, we bring Natu for general coverage.
Geodude for, uh, for Slugma if Slugma comes. This one's relatively a gimme. Of course. I thought it said Kirby, like Miss Piggy's uh, <laughs> uh, nickname for oh, Kermit. Oh, Kirby! Elegant has uh, decent physical attack as well, and it's a Sun Kern, so... But, uh, yeah. Lucky for us, Thunder Punch is special in this generation, so that'll be good when he comes up. I mean, it was it was had equal and special and physical. Yeah. The Electabuzz line is so weird, because Electabuzz is more of a special attacker, and then Electivire goes full into physical. Stop healing. This is literally a baby fight. What's this? It's baby fight. fight. Okay, that was a lot better. Jesus. That, so... that one did six damage. Come on. High roll again. High roll again. Just be enough to kill. Okay. Now please have brought one of your water types. Preferably both of them, in fact. Yes! Okay, Thunder Punch should one-tap this. The Electabuzz line is what happens when you add a start and an end to Pokémon at separate times. That is also true, yeah. I mean, hey, the Magmar line it was consistent, though. Yeah, I mean, they could have just chosen to make Electivire a special attacker. They probably made Electivire a uh, physical attacker because Magmortar was a special attacker and they wanted, like, a comparison between them or something. You got so lucky. How come they had that whole episode about Scyther and Pinsir... Uh, right, a Scyther and Electabuzz being rivals in, when in reality, with the way their lines went, Scyther is the rival to Pinsir and Electabuzz is the rival to Magmar. Uh, because at the time, they just wanted to show those Pokemon off. Because yeah. Ma Ma because Magmar was going to be in, uh, in, in on Blaine's team, and Pinsir was used by the samurai that could go fuck himself. The thing is, Pinsir and Scyther were originally, like, rival Pokemon. But then, as soon as Heracross came in, people were like, Oh no, it's Pinsir and Heracross now. Because they're both Beatles. And plus, Scyther got an evolution, so... Scyther's gotten two now, while Pinsir's got nothing. Other than a Mega, which will return in ZA. I'm, I'm curious to see what other Pokémon get Megas. Let's see, uh, you're the, you're the Confusion, bitch. Wait, no, you're not yeah. Confusion, you're the Dark-type, uh, moves. That's what you they are. They might even give... They could possibly even give Pokémon that already have Megas a new type of Mega, like they did for Charizard, having two of them. What's next? A Teenage Pokemon Fight Club? We grab all the middle stage Ejo Evos and force them into the fight pits? Teenage Poke Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I, I hope all po that means all Pokemon that already have a Mega return, like Mewtwo and Rayquaza and Diancie are going to be in it. Remember in the anime when Elekid's sound was beep 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 beep? beep. Yeah. He really I swear the anime just kind of guessed. And we're dead. Fucking bullshit. I hate Fury Swipes. It's down already. Hey, announcer, how about you go sit on a cacturn? It's just pure luck whether or not Fury Swipes kills us in one shot or not. The number of remaining Pokemon is two to three. Egg. What not? Ah, one more hit. You know Thunder Punch. The hit plants right off. There's a big HP difference between the two combatants. 
Really? That can miss? Okay, well, at least that missed, too. Okay. 75 ag- I'm gonna use Mud Slap. Mud Slap's more likely to kill. Consider it. Are you fucking serious, game? Maybe, maybe it'll just miss. Why would it? Okay, it only hits twice. Consider elderly Pokemon Fight Club. That would just be Drampa. Drampa. Conk Elder. Conk Elder. Arceus. <laughs> Pikachu with a K using it to smack people? <laughs> the next Pokemon needs to be prepared. Hey, Pika, Pika, Pika. I now have this picture in my head of old man Alakazam having to use his telekinesis to use his spoons to get his pudding. <laughs> That's why I would fucking see tapioca. <laughs> I love it. I mean, Al it, Alakazam's Pokedex entry says, like, its muscles have atrophied so much that it, it's only able to move by using its telekinesis. Yeah, and Mega Alakazam gets, like, a full beard and goes full monk. And he has a shitload more spoons. <laughs> Puts his spoons together to make a mech. <laughs> Pacific Rib. I never saw the second one because everyone says it sucks and I believe it. It's good. It's not as good as the first one, but it's fine. Uh, Godzilla X Kong actually came out today, so I'm probably going to see that sometime soon. I'm not sure who they're going to fight, considering they've already used things like Ghidorah and Mechagodzilla, but who knows. They haven't used Gigan yet, and that's a more endgame Godzilla enemy. They could, bring back they could bring back Death Destroya, that's a good one. Turns yeah, out that's it, what I was about to say, Destroya. Turns out it's just two hour- it turns out the X means love, and it's just a two hour kaiju porno. No, I got I it. It, the the secret the secret fight is against old man Godzilla from the future. <laughs> they they if they were gonna do another Godzilla villain brought back, I could see either Space Godzilla or Destroya because those are some of his more fearsome enemies that they haven't used already. You have dig. Fuck. Well, we're screwed. Because this is definitely going to kill us. Uh, yeah. We already lost our fucking continue. I'm wondering if we should just quit this run. Eh. Okay, don't bring Chansey this time. Though the other things are weak to the dark move, so what the fuck do I- I just- I gotta bring Chansey! <laughs> Pika Pika! What's the old Pikachu saying, Meowth? Something wise and sage? Something incredibly racist. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's a Gen 1 <laughs> <laughs> Damn Rose alone and rat attack coming and stealing our jobs! <laughs> With their mustaches. <laughs> yeah. Back in my day, we didn't need no form to go surfing. We just needed we just needed the raw willpower. <laughs> Back in my day, we didn't need dark types. <laughs> God, I, I just thought of something that would I think would be a great we joke, didn't need but no I no official steel tap neither. We knew they were metal. We just didn't say anything. I just thought of something that I think would be a a, a very gr great joke, but I think it would also get me in trouble to say. Oh dear. So I'm gonna not say it. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it into me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
<laughs> I'll just be vague about it. There is a uh, there is a uh, racist term that was used in the old days that would be surprisingly fitting for dark types, based on the name alone. Just remember, humans somehow forgot fairy type existed. Yeah, humans were just doing their thing, and then one day Clefairy resisted fighting, and they were like, what the fuck? <laughs> I punched it in the face, and it didn't care. <laughs> uh, this, he's, he's definitely gonna dig. Or he's gonna, like, quick attack or something. Oh my god, Max. Hey, you got it, and that was my goal. Oh, it's Chauncey. Taking a risk here. What's this? A light hit. Accuracy is down. They're both hanging tough. There's the attack. No, that didn't connect. What now? That was a glancing blow. Target stat must be in pattern. It's a fierce stat. What'll it do? That's it. There it is. Knock it. Oh, we're not getting a continue out of this fight. The next Pokemon needs to be prepared. The Pokemon have been chosen. The Pokemon emerges from a Pokeball. The white hot battle continues. How's that? A light pack. Oh. What next? Hey, you've had your leg actually lowered twice. Come. Yes, it's a hit. Oh, and down it goes. Don't you love when the AI uh, gets to just ignore the rules? There's only one Pokemon left to come up. Oh, it's Geodude. This is the last Pokemon. One Pokemon faces two now. It dug its way underground. Heavy tackle. Oh, that's a miss. There's a big HP difference between the two combatants. What's this? That had to hurt. What's that? Just one Pokemon remains. Oh, it's double! It's down to mm -hmm. the last Pokemon now. The crowd's excitement is building from this heated battle. Alright, it has bite. What'll it do? That's it! Okay, oh, game. Win. Okay. The heated action continues. <sighs> All right. Man, this cup sucks. <laughs> we thought this would be the easy one. Yeah. I'm going to refresh because we're getting a lot of repeats. All right, so we have Ghastly. Shelter. I haven't seen Shelter yet, and I wish I didn't. What's the level of Lumina, Aether, and Genshin? Uh, Sylvia, they're considered five stars. Really? And 
And I mean, they are pretty much getting more and more useful with every nation that's that's uh, released. Thrash. Though I think most would most would say um, Electro is when they started Free uh, getting useful. And why do they feel like shit? Well, that's because Sylvia, everyone has them. They're essentially a flex slot. Depending on what kit you're using, it allows them to fit into a lot of different team comps. All right, well, Ghastly, Shelter, Teddy Ursa, Onyx, Cubone, and a free pick. Hmm. We just take Abra again? I was going to say that or not to. Let's see. Here's what I'm going to do to make this quick. I'm about to say, it's going to be that blurry. <laughs> it's going to be what? I'm about to say, is it going to be that blurry? Abra has more speed, more special defense, more special attack. Natu has peck for coverage and more physical defense. I think, and and like and more HP by one. So I think Abra. <sighs> I'm wondering if we should switch to one of the other cups if we fail this again. I mean, we're going to have to come back to it eventually. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole challenge of this, is beating your head against the wall until you manage to be to break it. Yeah. Depends what breaks first. Uh... Really? The how? Alright, alright. Let me go see what you say. Randomly pick sound more time. This is what the next trainer is thinking as you fight, maybe. 210. The next trainer we fight is thinking. Ooh. And that's very fitting. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. What do I even bring here? I guess Abra, Teddy, or Sir uh, Ghastly. We're ready to roll. Pokemon Tournament Little Cup. The combatants are all still young Pokemon with little experience. Let's see what these Pokemon are capable of doing in battle. Slugma dies now. A psychic blast. I'm so fresh, she could slug my nuts. Yes, it's going Alright, see ya, Sonny. We're eagerly awaiting the appearance of the next Pokemon. Oh, it's Squirtle! 
All right. I want to try for that, uh, continue. Really? Well, I guess it was it was a Psychotype I had out. Ghastly should be faster, though. That was nothing. Okay, well, we don't get to continue here. I think Shadow Ball's higher base power plus stab would have done more damage. Although, I am realizing that if we ever go against a Pokemon we know has a good held item, like the Totodile, we can steal its focus band. I would need to make sure that Ghastly doesn't have an item. I think it's too late to adjust that. Well, if it has any fighting moves, we just ought to lose. Apparently it doesn't, because it went for Fire Punch. It's so faster than us. Okay, we'll actually kill it, because it's not going to kill us in one hit. Well, we lose out on a possible continue. Close we got. Alright, you're the one with all the dark moves. Combat and face each other. It does its way underground. Here's the first move. No, that didn't connect. All right, might switch to Pidgey, but if it does, I have Rock Throw. Did not switch. What's this? <sighs> Dig is really all I have for Onyx, because Rock Throw does less damage and has, doesn't have perfect accuracy. Alright, I'm back. How we doing? Uh, we're currently fighting a Snubble with an Onyx. Oh, so we had to lose and re-roll already. Yep. We, we beat the first trainer. We did not get a continue out of it. Uh. Hey, look at Onyx's dig animation. It went underground again. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Whoop, that missed. A hot battle is unfolding. Do you think it'd be funnier if they didn't what give the Diglett line unique dig animations and instead had them spin as well? I think it'd be funny and then people would bitch about it. Is from this 
It bothers me that individual parts of Onyx's body can rotate independently of the rest of its body. I don't think that's accurate to the anime. The anime, I don't think so, but... Like, I don't like that idea. <laughs> you know what would oh, probably not... really bother you? Let what? Them too. If when Onyx fainted, the rocks separated. You mean like how if Mischievous faints, it just disappears? And its necklace falls down? Hopefully Cubone is faster and can just take this thing down. <clears throat> Might as well go for headbutt. And we're slower. At least it didn't paralyze us. <sighs> we did it! <sighs> Whatever. This thing has dig. Unfortunately, we don't have magnitude on this one. I don't know. Come on, Bone Meringue. There it goes. A That's a major death. One nice. shot, baby! Oh, Woo! Get Bone. Uh -huh. Okay, we're in the lead. We're in the lead now, two to one. We know Meowth is pretty fast, but maybe we can survive a hit. <laughs> I'm gonna get him. I need to stretch a bit. Live, live, live. It'll, the stream will come back in a moment because the freaking yeah people watching the vod just give it a moment. Okay, come on, it takes... <laughs> when the internet comes unplugged, it like instantly goes down, but then when I plug it back in, it takes like... 10 minutes to boot back up. The second you said you were going to get up, uh, everything died. Yeah, uh... Did so you plug something? Uh, I accidentally stepped on the cable that my, uh, Ethernet, uh, hub is plugged into, and so it came unplugged for a moment. <laughs> anyway, uh, Boomerang missed! Oh, wow. Aww. So let's try it again! We're gonna die! We can't see what you're doing. Oh, I thought it. You didn't. No, you didn't hit stream when you hit enter Discord. Oh, okay. I thought it would automatically do that because I was doing it before I. There we go. Well, 
Teddy Urso versus Meowth. Who wins, the bear or the cat? Well, you can outspeed us, but Thrash can do a lot of damage. Yeah, let's see what happens. It bothers me that Lick being a ghost-type move means that you cannot Lick a normal-type Pokémon. Makes kind of... on, Thrash. ...no sense. Oh, I lived on one. Okay, it's if, fine, we as long next, we... If, yeah. if we survive the next hit, we win. Yeah, as long as he doesn't crit. Come on, come on. We're good. Okay, we win. <sighs> <sighs> Teddy Ursa keeps coming clutch in the last moment. <laughs> now it's time for the confusion spammer. We have no continues. You think we can do this? No. Fucking well, let's see how far Grant. we get. Fucking Grant. Alright. Abra has the confusion curing Barry. So we'll get something going off, at least. Starting with his Chin Chow, who knows Confuse Ray. Yep, but that's fine. Okay, we'll kill Chin Chow without any problems. Oh fuck off! Well, I think I'm I think I'm still fine. It had six HP left. It's currently at minus seven. This should still kill. Yeah. Oh my god! We lower rolled this time. Fucking hell. Come on, Abra. Okay, we killed Chin Chow. Ideally, I'd be going to the next uh, next opponent not currently uh, confused, but... Yeah, I also don't really have anything for Chikorita here. Aside from just try to overpower it. And I hit myself. Okay, it wasted its turn. Mmm. Keep it protected from the other two if Aber goes down. Come on, Aber, take it down one shot. Nah. Chikorita's defensive. It's the only thing it's got going for it. Survive. Live. If we hit ourselves again, we die. Hopefully the confusion wears off at this point. Thank God. Okay, we killed Chikorita. Now it's three to one. Depending on what he has or what they have left, whoever they are. Okay, it's could be the, it could be the Tota Dial with the Focus Band. Yeah. He's never used this before, and it's weak to us. Perish. I think this just one shots, right? It's <laughs> super effective. Wow, that was the easiest time we've ever had with that guy. Oh no! Hey, we gotta continue out of it too. We gotta continue, and we beat him with just one Pokemon, even with some bad luck in the, in the beginning there. Abra sweep! Abra just is the best tier one Pokemon for this challenge. All right. Then this next person also does confusing stuff, I think. We beat her without taking any damage last time. We'll see if that holds true again. Her team is super weak to psychic types. The battles are intensifying 
to a fever pitch. This is round four. Booga booga booga. Come on, start Tyrogue again. Okay, it's still a poison type. Yeah. We kill. Alright. Please say you brought Zubat and Tyro because we can just beat beat you without taking damage again. This battle is intense right from the start. Oh, it's Geodude. We one shot okay, we... we did one shot Geodude last time, because it's special yep. defense is ass. Yeah, we did one shot like her Geodude. <laughs> we did one shot her Geodude last time, so this should still be a sweep. I don't like my defense in general. Okay, please have Tyro or Zubat. Tyro, Tyro. Oh, yeah. Okay. Her, she sucks, she T-posed. He T-posed for dominance. We're gonna beat her entire team without taking damage again because Abra. Yeah. Booga, booga, booga. Yeah, she is easy. As long as we have Abra. Yeah. Even not to. Or even even not to, honestly, because it also has stab psychic. Yeah, but I I don't know. I I think Abra's Abra's better in general because all of its important stats are higher. Okay. Halfway, we have two continues. Halfway once again. Alright. Uh We're halfway there. Uh <laughs> Clark. This kid again. I remember last time we... We, we swept we, him with Diglett. Yeah, so I'm gonna start with Cubone, and then I bring Abra and Teddy Ursa like usual. Ah. Yeah. His team is very weak to ground types, which helped us out. There's really no point in bringing Onyx. It doesn't... Onyx, you don't exist. It's just the the, the reverse L on the, on the right. Is the funny thing using. is... His entire team is weak to Onyx. <laughs> yeah, but if only Onyx actually had stats. This happened last time too. Yeah, and it used it tried it used Sweet Kiss. So yeah. And okay. Uh, Change pace. I think we live this. I think we live this. Oh, we just barely live it. it that doesn't matter. <laughs> One. Two. Oh! Lived on one! The second one did less damage! Do we switch an Abra because it'll resist? Yes. Because if we can get a continue out of this, that'd be very helpful. And leaving Cubone in his dude would just definitely die. Okay, All we right. resist this, and we should outspeed Smooch him. That still hurt. Any physical move will kill us. Please, Ekans. That's fine, okay. because we we one-shot... Oh, wait, no, we one-shot it with Diglett. But this thing probably doesn't have much special defense, right? It's a it's a special, rock. Its special defense probably isn't great. Let's see. Yeah, it's a fucking rock. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh! We're gonna, lo we're gonna lose Abra. All We're right. gonna lose Abba, but Cubone it should be faster and can kill it. <sighs> yeah, I'm worried his boomerang isn't perfect uh, accuracy. It's, yeah. like, it's like 90, which means it has a 10% chance of hitting. Come on, Cubone, you just need to hit it once. Also be faster, please. I mean, definitely faster, right? Okay. Nope. It's, it's slower. Somehow Cubone is slower. Uh now we're relying on Teddy Ursa, which 
sucks for, really hard. For Larvitar, that's problematic, but we might we might still be able to have this. Actually, I just realized something. Ten years has Fate Attack. <sighs> it would be neutral. It would be neutral. Let's see. That'd be sixty neutral. Thrash would be ninety. With stab, would become one hundred and thirty-five. Resisted to become basically sixty-seven. So, and 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 that's still and it's still higher because of Teddy Ursus' physical attack. So, Thrash is better than Fate Attack, even with the resistance. Yeah. We're faster. Please, just do a tiny bit of damage. Yes. Okay. We are already locked into it, though. Thankfully, I don't think he has any ghost types. Tips Fedora. Mareep. Okay, we got this. I don't know, it's electric. It might be faster. Oh, it has thunder. Miss. Yes! Yeah. Okay, if we can survive or dodge one more hit, we win. We are currently confused. God damn it. Because Thrash ran out. Miss. Yes! We win! Fuck you, sheep! Uh, it missed Thunder twice and we didn't hit ourselves. What luck. <sighs> That kid, got the, a, that kid got a little payback for what you said to him last time, Tim. Because if those two thunders hit, we were screwed. No way Teddy Ursus survives two of those. I don't think it would have even survived one of them. I think it could have survived one barely. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> Spectre approves. All right. Now. Ah, right. You. Uh, This one was trouble last time. Yeah. Well, last time it was trouble because we kind of had to rely on a Teddy Ursa. Let's see. Or not Teddy a Charmander. Bleh. Uh, let's see. Yeah. She, right she now, has one thing weak to Abra. She has... Uh, she Cubone has, is going to struggle a bit. Yeah. I could bring Onyx. Onyx would be quad weak to, end, to the grass and water, though. Yeah, Onyx is weak to a lot of that. There's no point bringing uh, Ghastly. The only and, thing that... Well, Ghastly would be neutral against... Well, two things on it would be immune. Let's see. Uh, I think... Abra to start. Like, Shelter, if it had a good ice move, would be good against three of these things. Yeah, and it has Icy Wind with ten special attacks, so... I guess Abra to... Do we still bring... Cubone's weak to three of these. Four of these, because Dratini is Surf. Yeah, Onyx is weaker. <laughs> we can't... Yeah, Ghastly is, like, basically non-existent here. Well, like I said, Ghastly would be neutral to four of them, and the other two would be immune to it. That's true. We'll go Ghastly, then. We'll give him a chance. Alright, Abra. Carry us like you've been carrying us. That's an okay Abra, start. are you the Mr. Mime of this cup? This thing does have swagger. Yeah, but we have but speed, I hope. We should be we should be faster. We are faster than Kabuto. Hopefully we one-shot it. Plus, Abra has the confusion curing Barry. Ah, oh, they've done one. Survive an ancient power, please. Okay, we'll kill Kabuto. Really? You couldn't have gotten that crit last turn? Uh, it sucks because there's such a high chance of crits happening when you don't need them to in this mode. Yeah. Okay, we'll outspeed Dratini and get one neutral hit off. Will we outspeed? I don't actually know. I think we do outspeed Dratini. Okay. Yeah, we do. Abra, Abra's fast, dude. 
Look, I don't know, man. This will be. This won't kill it, but it'll hurt. Okay, it kills us. And then. I guess we send Ghastly out to it because it's neutral. Yeah. Shadow Ball will definitely kill. It only has 3 HP. Shadow Ball kills. And then we'll figure something out based on what's left. We're faster, cool. It's two to one. That Dratini got okay. so erect. Okay, what do we got? Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah, we have Teddy Ursa, so yeah. Just just spam Shadow Ball until Ghastly dies or wins. We resist both of Odish's stab types too. Yeah. We quad resist poison. Vector, quiet your drama pants. Okay, it stunned us. Did I give you the paralysis berry? No, I gave no, it to it... someone else. Okay. It's okay. Ghastly will just do what it can do until it dies. We yeah. We resist Giga Drain, so this will barely do anything. Okay, we got our Shadow Ball. Okay, one more hit and we kill it. Especially now that special defense is down. Okay, I mean, and it healed. Yeah, but Shadow Ball's not special. Oh, uh, well. Then why does it lower special defense? I don't know. They didn't know what they were doing. Oh, it crit. Okay, it's gonna heal back to full now, which is unfortunate. Okay, we're gonna die here. Because it did like five damage and four on Giga Drain. Yeah. Maybe low roll? Nah. Uh, Cubone's chances are not looking good. No, it's Teddy Ursa. Oh wait, no, Teddy Ursa. Right, right, right. Okay, we got this. Teddy Ursa will outspeed, thrash, kill it. Oh right, that's us. Yay, we're winning. <laughs> Teddy Ursa is fast and it hits hard. Okay. We're three fourths of the way done. Only two more trainers. And we have two continues. Yeah, but this next one is the Cypher, bitch. We just have to hope. Onyx is unironically really good against Scyther. Yeah. Honestly, we're probably going to bring Onyx in this next one. It's a total coin toss. But Onyx is good against both the Sentret and the Scyther. The Sentret with the Berserk was a problem. And then it just decided to bring out this impossible to kill Scyther. I think start with Onyx because the only thing here that's a problem is Swinub. And even so, then, if you if you can get a good rock move on it. Start with Onyx, bring Abra and Teddy Ursa. Yeah, Onyx is good against a lot of these. Onyx is always going to go last because it's slow, but... Yeah, Sylvia, I don't know what's up with it, but yeah, crits never happen, like, rarely happen for the players here, and when they do, we don't need it. Probably, okay, so, for us. she's probably going to switch, right? Uh, do we just do Dig? If we do Dig and she switches into Scyther, that'd be bad. I'm thinking I'll do Rock Throw to, like, test, and if she doesn't switch, then she probably won't switch later. Oh! It uh, miss, please? It missed, okay. Oh, God. There was too big of a risk with Dig, because she could have swapped out in two turns. Yeah. I mean... Please miss. Missed. You can tell by the oh. sound for some of the moves. This isn't going to kill, but... No, it might, because Rock Throw has less oh. power than Dig, and Dig is super effective. 
switch. And, and they're both stabbed, so... You idiot! This'll kill. All right. This is my baby Onyx. Scyther, please. Ground resists rock, doesn't it? Or wait, no, it's fighting that, it's, it's fighting that resists rock. Well, ground does too. Ground does resist rock? Pretty certain. Uh, hmm. let me see. Ground type resistances. It resists poison, rock, electric. Okay, so rock throw would be neutral, so I might as well do dig. Or do I switch? Mm, it's probably gonna use an ice move. It might use a ground move, because we're weak to that, too. Hmm. I'm gonna switch to Teddy Ursa. If anything needs to die, Teddy Ursa is one we can probably manage without. We need to hold on to Onyx in case she has Scyther. At least we have two continues, so if we die once, we can figure out a different strategy. Yeah. Or just hope we get lucky. <laughs> yes! Alright, and we're gonna be faster than this thing, most likely, so thrash. Mm -hmm. No. Ah, uh, okay, so I end up fast. It's fine, we could probably survive one, even if we do get this hit. twice! Okay, this won't one-shot, but it'll hurt real bad. Alright, okay. I'm pretty sure even if we get hit by a blizzard, we survive as long as we don't get frozen. Yep. And now that I said it out loud... Three times! Damn! Game's finally giving us a chance. Okay, it's three to one. We got this. Well, let's not let's not say so yet. You never know. Okay, it's the Berserk Centret. It's gonna quick attack. Maybe it'll hit itself. Maybe we switch to Onyx now. Yeah. Because Onyx can resist all of its stab moves. And Onyx has insane physical defense. Yeah. My baby Onyx has returned. Look, they have a baby Scyther. <laughs> Pathetic! With plus two, it did two damage. So what you're saying is without the gene, it would have healed us. <laughs> And we're faster. Now just Oh it has ice punch, that's a problem. Uh ice yeah, punch it's not it's not it's not it's not raised by the berserk gene, but still. That didn't do a lot, but Ah, uh, snap out of its confusion after three turns again. Oh we live! Dig again. It's faster than us, isn't it? No, we're faster. We dug before it swung, remember? All right. Right, that. Oh, priority move, duh. All right, uh, it, it, it's fine, it's fine. It keeps breaking out of confusion every three turns. Sad part is, on the time she's Scyther, she didn't use this thing. It, she's gonna quick attack, which I think we take one. I'm pretty sure hope. we can take. I'm pretty sure we can take one. Live. Live. Ah, oh, just kill on this one, please. Okay. We win. We get to get to the final round with two right. continues. Onyx actually saved the day there. Onyx MVP of that fight. Yeah. Teddy Ursa, you were there. And now... <laughs> These babies are tough. Oh, you don't believe me? <laughs> Uh-oh, he has Abra. He has Peachol, Gastol, Magball, Chansol, Waggle, and Abral. Good old Waggle. <laughs>
No one floats like Gastal. No one floats like Gastal. No one uses. <laughs> no one throws Shadow Ball at your throat like Gastal. All right. Uh. Hmm. Aside from Abra, Abra is good against. Well, D uh, just a good choice in general, I think. Teddy Ursa, I'm a little unsure about, but I think Teddy Ursa would be good just to bring in. <sighs> Cubone or Onyx? Probably Cubone, because it... Hmm. Cubo there's... Cubone is good against three of these. Yeah, there's nothing that uh, Onyx would be good against that Cubone isn't. Yeah, the only threat to either of them is the Poliwag, which is super good against Onyx. I could bring in Ghastly for Shadow Ball. Hmm. Ghastly duel that we'd probably lose because NPC Pokemon always have higher stats. Yeah, but... To, uh, well, no, actually, if it was against Abra, that'd be a problem. So I think Abra, Teddy, or Cubone. Yeah, if they bring their own Abra, that's going to be a problem. If they bring their own Abra, that's what Teddy Ursa's for. Come on. Throne. First time we've done this fight. Booga, booga, booga. Booga, 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 booga. Oh, booga, booga, boy. Booga. <laughs> this isn't gonna go anywhere. When he looks at me, and I look at him... Wait this a sucks. second! We have Wait. Thief! Okay, bye. Switching? Wait, you you had thief. Switch into Ghastly, switch into Ghastly. Switch to Ghastly, switch to Ghastly, switch to Ghastly! That's a chancy. That's not good. Oh, uh, that has high special defense. And we have an item on us, so we're not gonna steal their item. That hmm. did fucking nothing. Well, yeah. You know, I mean, psychic... like, you know what this looks like a job for? I was gonna say psych Psychic has higher base damage and stab, but... This looks like a job for... Whatever you're gonna do, miss. A bear! <laughs> 75 accuracy, it's not gonna hit, right? I knew it was gonna hit. It, it killed us in two more of those. It wouldn't hit twice. It wouldn't hit us with glasses. Why does it have thunder? Why is it faster than it us? Won't hit. Why is it faster than us? That's another question. Uh, I would say if we can survive one more hit, we take it, but... Uh... I mean, if it misses... It could miss! It could miss! 25% chance of missing! Oh, Teddy Ursa, you god. Okay, we have the lead now. Woo! His child is mad! Did you see that? <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh. Okay, we're locked into Thrash right now, so... Oh, wait, no, we're not. Oh, because we killed. I mean, uh, it doesn't... Do we, it doesn't do we, continues do we... don't matter at this point, so... Yeah, do we, do we thrash anyway? Let's just thrash. I mean, what are we gonna thrash do? Sw it. If we switch it to something else, it'll probably die, so. Ah, oh, bitch. Also, I hate those lips. All Damn right, it. okay. it's, it's okay, fine. We, 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 bring in, we bring in Abra. Yeah, we have a safe Abra switch now. He got scared in the Abra duel, so. Yeah. Probably because he knew we had Thief. I doubt the game read us that hard. Are you sure? This is faster than Abra? The hell? Why is, this thing, why is this thing so fast? I don't know, it's a fucking polywag. We're gonna die. Uh, maybe a speed tie. No, it's faster than us. The fuck? And it's gonna one-shot our Q-Bone. I'm looking this shit up, hang on. Poliwag! I mean, it doesn't change what we're doing. No, I know, but I want to know how much the game's cheating right now. Poliwag has a sp Oh, Poliwag has a speed of 90! Why is it so fast? I don't know. All forms aren't that fast. Abra also has a speed of 90, so it was a speed tie. We just lost both times. Or, in this case, our speed's like 14 and it's 15. 
It's gonna one shot us with Surf and we're gonna die. Yeah. We're gonna have to retry this one. <laughs> Maybe we'll hold on. No. Oh. Man! Fucking hate those lips. <laughs> All right. Take two. Call me in the morning. <sighs> what do you think? Bring in the same team? I'm thinking maybe I'll start with Teddy Ursa this time. Because... Out of all of these, Teddy Ursa would have a problem against uh, Ghastly, but against Chansey and Abra, it can take advantage of their low defense. So I think I'm going to start with Teddy Ursa. See if that changes some things. Oh. Do we just play it out? Yeah. It's faster really? than us. Fucking fire why blast? Are all, why are they all faster than us? And why does it land all of its side? Oh my fucking god. Do we swap to Cubone? We don't have a choice. We're locked into Thrash. Ah, oh, fucking. Why are they all faster than us, dude? There's no counterplay to that. We can only win if he misses, and he keeps hitting his high-power moves. Cubone or Abra? Abra. If anything's gonna be faster, it'll be Abra. Booga booga booga. Are you fucking serious right now? Okay, well at least it's just confusion. I can get I get rid of that with my berry. It healed itself with a bitter berry. Stop being faster than us. Abra's been faster than literally everything up till now. His child is mad in those portraits. We are screwed. I mean, if we throw a Cubone, it's only attack that can hit us is Egg Bomb. Well, we don't know what else it has. We know it has Thunder and Egg Bomb. Are you serious? Dude, come on. We did, sur we did survive. But we can't kill it. No, we can't. Do I flash or do I psychic? Hey, Mono. If we psychic, we die for sure. If we flash, there's a chance. I'm gonna go for flash. It's stupid, but who knows? I think it's lo low accuracy moves, even lower accuracy. Oh, Icy Wind. So if we did swap to Cubone, we would've had to deal with that. Fuck. Dude, come on! Hmm. Just one Pokemon remains. Only thing we can hope for is this thing misses now. If it does miss and we hit our bone meringue, we should probably be able to take Chansey out. I think we need three three hits from this range. It's faster than us. What next? No, that didn't oh. Cause let's see, it's, 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 I, I, it's defense I, I, is bad and Boomerang is strong. I think uh. the flash was the correct play. Fuck, we needed to miss one more time. Do I go for Headbutt or do I go for Boomerang even though it might miss? Hmm. Do I think Head... Uh, let's see, Boomerang with 50 power... Yeah, I think headbutt, sh headbutt should do enough damage, because that 50 power is, like, each yeah. hit. Yeah. 
Headbutt should be fine. Yeah. Just, just miss. Miss, miss, miss. Oh my. miss yes. We have a fighting chance. Let's see. The... Don't be polywag. Be Pichu. You know what? Be Pichu. You have so many things weak to ground. Why? We just lose automatically now. We can't win. If he brings in Poliwag ever, we just get screwed because it's faster than everything. Like, there is no counterplay to Poliwag with our team comp. Yeah, here's the problem. The AI gets to choose their team comp after knowing what yours is. Because this is a fair game. Do we just lead Cubo next time? I don't know. What was the issue with leading Teddy Ursa? Uh, it was Magby. It was Magby just fucking fire blast existing. Magby just got lucky fire blast that took all of our health. The only thing that's super effective against Cubone is the Poliwag, and he's never let it. He has three things that he has three things that are weak to ground, and then two things that have bad physical defense. Yeah, he won't lead with Poliwag. If he leads with Poliwag, then that's bullshit. Okay, good he'll, call. He'll probably switch, Mag but at least we'll get Magby a hit off. Magby's faster than us, but we get a hit. Come on. Of course he crits. All right, so I'm anyway, not, so not take... yeah, anyway. There's a speedrun document about Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 that goes over enemy selection of Pokemon. I'm not taking that one. I'm not taking the enemy getting a crit on turn 1. Yeah, no. Like, let's face it, we all know the AI cheats like crazy in this game. We deserve, like, a mulligan every now and then when the AI is, like, just fucking we've us. We've never gotten a crit when the enemy's full health. We only get crits that would not matter. Yeah. Okay. We live, barely. This should kill. Okay, yeah, Almost didn't even sure. need the second hit! Okay, okay. okay. Q-Bone's probably dead now, but it did what it was meant to do. Okay, this is a problem, because it's faster than everything we own. I might have something in mind, but yeah, for now, but uh, yeah, just kill us. <laughs> oh, maybe it'll miss. <laughs> so let's see. Was it Poliwag that did Confuse Ray? No, it's basically just been doing Body Slam Surf. I'm thinking Teddy Ursa, even if it doesn't kill it, can at least get it low. Ugh, this thing is such a problem because it's so fast. We would need to roll an Electric type just for this guy. Or a grass type, preferably. A sharp attack. Yeah, that did over half. The Hit. That was good. Okay, so the thing is, Poliwag's gonna kill us, and then it's gonna get a free hit on Abra. Okay, he wasted his crit on that. It was going to kill us anyway. It's going to hit Abra, but then Abra's going to kill it. And then he's probably going to bring out Chansey and we just lose. Okay. 
Crit two turns in a row. No, that didn't happen. When they get blamed about it, I'm not even gonna... I'm just gonna get back. Just restart. They're being way too obvious about it. I'm surprised they haven't sent out a fucking Suicune. Well, this is a different start, and a good one for us. For f Can you fuck off? Okay, no. This is... No. The game definitely has a higher chance to crit than us, because we've only crit, like, a couple times, and they all didn't matter. And the game has crit four times in this battle alone. I just want to get past this so I can get to the fucking part where I don't need to use just the first evolutions. Okay, Abra's gonna outspeed us, we know that. Cubone's slow. Ugh, but maybe a boomerang, maybe a two-roll boomerang kills it. Or we just miss, and we lose anyway. <sighs> oh yeah, he is cheating, Solar. The Pokemon Stadium AI blatantly cheats. That's the whole thing. Then you get those people that are like, no, it's the same as in the main games, it's just you don't notice it as much in the main games. Hey, yeah, you don't notice it as much because it doesn't fucking happen. Like, there are there are more... There's more bullshit in one round of this than I, in, like, my 27 years of playing po other main Pokemon games. What impact will this Pokemon Switch have on the battle? What now? It lands right off. Oh, special defense is down. There's the attack. Oh, a blow to the. So I can't hit a move with 90 accuracy, but they get to crit a move with 75. So it seems. I'm not restarting. I'm just gonna fucking use this team and get through this because we worked hard to get here and every time it's just bullshit. So at this point, I don't care. I just want to move on. Yeah, it, by the uh, that is so many crits. Yeah, that is five crits for this fight so far from the enemy. We've gotten none. In fact, I'm pretty sure he's gotten more crits than we've gotten throughout the entirety of the stream, period. I wonder if we survive an egg bomb. Actually, it has Icy Wind. Do we die to that? Unless it misses. We can get it down to low-ish here, but it's not gonna kill. Okay, that did about half. I know one more, one more boomerang won't kill even if I do get the hit in, so I'm just gonna do headbutt. Yeah, okay, I didn't think it. Oh! We lived on one! If we got a, if we got a three roll, we could have got it. Boomerang doesn't do a three roll, it's only two. Okay. Oh, Bone Ring would have done more damage than 10, though. Yeah, but it still wouldn't have killed. So, and... I'm pretty sure Teddy Ursa... At this point, Teddy Ursa kills with Thrash, whether it's 11 or 1 health. So, yeah. I, I think it was safer to do the guaranteed 10 than the possible 20. Come on. 
And paralyzed us, oh boy. You fool! Oh, that finally came into play. Okay, fuck off. The game's like, oh, you want to crit? Here you go, when he had, like, negative health left. Eat my entire yeah, we asshole. Their... We would have killed there anyway. We keep eating crits when it does not matter. Yeah. Okay, Magby's gonna outspeed us. Maybe we live. We are misses. locked. We are locked into thrash. Come on, miss, miss, miss. Ah, damn it. <sighs> Everything he has, except for Chansey, is just so fat. It cuts you also. It looks. You sound like you said everything he has except for Chansey is so fat. We are so dead. Our only hope is he misses. Like, we only win here if he misses. Army's debating using Endure, but there's no point. Yeah, I would just delay one turn of us having to do the same thing we're doing now. We're faster. Wait, we're faster! Speed tie. Suddenly, suddenly we're faster. Cool. Speed tie. Finally done. I'm willing to chalk that up. I'm willing to chalk that up as five failures. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that, but like we get it. I'm hoping this is one of those ones where you only had to beat it once, as opposed to the other ones where it's like the various levels. Gas lead. You were there. I was about to say what? <laughs> Teddy Ursa! MVP for one fight! Look, it's sometimes what you need. Cubone! Our saving grace! <laughs> Abra. I love the dramatic zoom in on Abra. I like the egg behind it. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Okay, yeah, that one looks like a single copper. Yeah. I'm trying to see. Uh, yeah. Plus the others have like a. Hang on, let me. See. Yeah, because these the other there ones specifically is. have the, have the stuff. So Pokey Cup has that. Prime Cup doesn't. Oh, should we go for that next then? Well, hang on. Challenge Cup does. Yep. Challenge Cup kind of, like, gives us Pokemon. Let's do the Pokeball run of Challenge Cup. Yeah, sure. Because they just straight up give us the Pokemon to use. This asshole. It's fucking Grant again. And he's first now. So oh. he got demoted after we beat him. Oh. Oh. Our team is... Wait, they're mirror matches. Oh, Hang on. No, not quite. We, we have Slugma, Larvitar, Ledipa... Mari, Tyroga, Bulbasaur, and he has Larf Itar, Sand Shrew, Cinder Quill, Slugba, Wooper, Geo Dude. I thought it was a beer match at first when I saw the Larvitars and Slugmas. No. Uh, let's okay, see. So, uh, huh. Probably Bulbasaur because it's good against four of them. Mar Mareep is worthless here. Four of his mons are immune to it. Yep, so no Mareep. Well, hang on. What do we even have to work with here? Bulbasaur has Razor Leaf. Tyrogue doesn't even have any fighting moves. Damn it. Larvitar has has Rock Slide, so Larvitar is good for the, the fire types. Ladybug's pretty bad. Ooh, Slugma has Flamethrower. We're bringing Slugma. Oh, actually, okay. no. Slug Slugma's resistant. Yeah, what would you use him against? Yeah, never mind. I just... Uh, they give I mean, us you have Mud Slap, but... Uh, they... four, four of his mons are weak to Bulbasaur, but Bulbasaur is weak to the other two. Why are you here? All right, anyway. I mean, it has Giga Drain. Also, I just... Oh, hang on. We have actual items. Bulbasaur has Miracle Seed. Slugma has Goldberry. Larvitar has a hard stone. Tyroke has berry juice. Okay. Anyway, uh, so it seems like so it seems like Bulbasaur and Tyroke are the two obvious picks. Well, well, why would you bring Tyroke? It only has strength. 
Uh, yeah. Bulbasaur, well, Lar Lar Bulbas Larvitar to deal with the fire types. Yeah. And then, uh, hmm. N not Mareep. Not Slugma, not Lady Boss. So, yeah, I guess we do bring Tyro just out of, uh... Just neutrality. Yeah, pretty much. Actually, question, Max. What's up? How would this be part of the randomizer run, considering it's pre-picked? Wouldn't it be done, like, off-screen at worst, because it doesn't really matter? That's a good point! Yeah, this isn't the randomizer because we're forced to use what the game gives us. Wow, but, we actually got a we got we got a full health crit. It happened. We well, got we're, eight, we're doing the Poke Cup to like show how it works. We'll call it, we'll call it that. We okay, and then the rest you'll do off screen just so we'll have the completion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we swap here. Yep. To Larf guitar. I thought I remember. Oh, right. For some reason, in the anime, they pronounce it Larvatar. Larvatar. Okay. No we have uh, Rock Slide because we have a hard stone. And we're faster. By the power of rocks. They're gonna hurt real bad. Super effective. Turns out when you let the game pick everything, you just win. Now turns, out, turns out, wait. Oh, now I know why we're critting because the game chose these Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> Like, that was so overkill. When he oh, looks at me, and I look at him! Honestly, there's no point in switching right now. Let's just stay in. Yeah, just dig. Let's just stay in, and then if we die, bring Bulbasaur back. Bulbasaur back. I'm surprised you didn't dig. What?! I was digging He's because I thought, because I thought he would dig. Uh, <laughs> nothing <laughs> happened. Nothing happened. <laughs> Uh, uh, he, for some reason, he went towards the rock slide on a Pokemon that quad resists rock. Okay, I, can't see, I can't see you! Now the game is just trolling itself. Yeah. So, are we gonna get out of this without a scratch? Uh, we're not gonna kill him here. Sure? We almost did! <laughs> <laughs> it leered? <laughs> Why is I think it not we just us? had the better Pokemon now. Why is it not hitting us? Hey, I'm, gonna bite. I'm just gonna bite! <laughs> yeah, let's just bite. Bite kills here. We did that without losing any health. Jeez. I guess it's a good Palo Cleanser, but it just This is Catharsis! Odd. That's what this is! <laughs> But we didn't even choose these. Fuck well, we you, Marcus! Get... We never get to choose our Pokemon, but you know what I mean. Yeah. What? I lost? That's weird. Oh, this is another eight in a row. Yeah, that's pretty standard for All right, the Cubs. I'm... All right, gonna suspend. Yeah, because that's not a randomizer. That's irrelevant. Does it just put you right back into it, though? Oh, uh, oh, oh, yeah. You know what? It's fine. Delete suspended. It's one battle. I'll, I'll do. I'll do that off screen. We saw what it's like. Now we move on to. Uh, I guess the well. The, these both have their reasons for picking. The Pokecup says the official Pokemon League tournament, and this is the ultimate tournament. Also, let it all hang out. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let it all hang out, everybody. All right, but you know it's going to be rough. I know, but it's this or the one that we have to do four times in a row. All right. And, all right, let's see here. All right. It has Surf. Mag Cargo. If you if you have like flamethrower, that would be fire blast. Okay, fire blast, and that's it. Okay, uh, and over three hundred D. 
Beedrill, you... Can you... Well, Sludge Bomb, I mean. Pinsir? The guillotine... Wait, hang on. They have the movesets and stuff changed here. Do we have the Guillotine King back? Ah, oh, no! They massacred my boy. I guess girl here, but... Ninetail! We already have fire, thank you. Uh, once again, Fire Blast! And... I'm haunted. I'm fucking haunted. <laughs> Alright, well... Alright, Chin Chow. Confusion. Uh, heal. Sleep. Burn. Paralysis. Go fuck yourself. Alright. Let's do it. You want to bow, but I, Terry, have confidence in myself. I, Terry. Lossomet, Azumaret, Ferraset, Furret. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a moment. <laughs> okay, I like the next one, though. Tuffet is funny. Tuffet and Toget. Ick. <laughs> Nero would be like, hey, you haven't seen me in a while, miss me? And we're just like, no, no, we didn't. <laughs> All right. Uh... <sighs> Let's see. <sighs> I guess Chin Shao Meg Cargo and... Beedrill. Let's see. Beedrill is one 231 attack. Oh, wow, Chinchou actually has shitty stats compared to the others. <sighs> Let's see. Chinchou has a problem with two of them. Mycargo has a problem with one of them. Beedrill has a problem with none of them. So, Beedrill, Mycargo, Chinchou. All right, we're not fighting with fucking babies anymore. Let's do this. Wiggle that stinger, Beedrill. Okay, good thing I didn't start with uh, Meg Cargo like I was thinking of. All right. I think I'm going to hate this animation. Mm, wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Man, if only you were fairy type still. Or by now. Pathetic. Feel the power of my poop! <laughs> Look, you see where it's coming out of. <laughs> you know what? Hmm. No, I'll, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna take the kill. I'm not gonna be stupid. Uh. I'll use Twin Needle. That'll probably do enough. I was like, I could use a Storm to Focus Energy, but... Okay. And before Beedrill fucking saves the day. Man, if only you were fairy type still. This last basically just has the Pokemon that would eventually be fairy type. Feel my poop! It is time! Or my poop! <laughs> yes, 
All right, I'm probably going to switch at this point. Please be Blossom. I would love if I could just switch to Bad Cargo. Not quite. Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff is just... Is Wigglytuff just HP, or is it one of the defensive stats? I think it just says high HP. It's probably going to do a physical attack, so I'll switch to Meg Cargo. Wigglytuff, Wigglytuff. Wiggly Tough just has 140 HP. Its defensive stats are 50 and 45. Hey, we're asleep now. It's really bad at everything except HP. Why are you doing protect? Why did you protect when we can't attack? And that's going to be resisted. We're going to win eventually. Yeah, I'm just hoping if we could do it in a way that gets us to continue. It's only offensive move is body slam. <sighs> I'm awake now. Really? Well, it used protect, so... Isn't this supposed to fail if you spam it? Yep. But it's the AI, Tim. There it goes. Oh my, missed again. They're both hanging tough. Okay, we're gonna get to attack this turn. Let's see if we hit. It's gripped by paralysis. There's the shot. Great hit. Okay, good hit. One more of those and we win. We're paralyzed. Okay, we can't use my cargo anymore. Time to switch. I mean, we can still use rock slide. <laughs> okay. It, yeah, what am I? Yeah, no. All right, Chin Chow. We're probably faster than it now. Nah. Like, this isn't difficult, it's just very annoying. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. This won't kill, but it'll get close. One more hit. Oh, okay. I, okay, speed tie. Yeah, it did, well, no, it just kept using protect. Ah, right. Of course we're faster than it. Like I said, Wigglytuff sucks at everything but HP. It just kept right. spamming protect. We gotta continue. Woo! Didn't lose a single Pokemon there. And we had a fucking bee drill. Which one have been so bad if her Pokemon were actually fairy type? Yeah. Uh, I've, I've dedicated my life to fighting Pokemon! I have PTSD from the splash art, because one of the guys who had this one was just the guy who spammed one hit KO moves. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Uh, so he, he hang, on, hang on, guys. We gotta look out for Buffett, Ape, Shan, Lee, Top, and King. Well, he has four fighting types, so my car goes out. I'm gonna bring Beedrill, because I quad resist fighting. Then I'm gonna bring... Chin Chow. Yeah, Chin Chow is just overall good and good against Nido King. And then what else? Nine Tails. Uh, 
my car goes bad against his entire team. You know, I'll bring nine tails. Also, Wobbuffet is Wobbuffet, so. This guy's great at names. Oh, fuck off. Berserk Gene. Okay. It is I, Berserk Gene. I'm crazy. Poop! Oh, he detected the poop. Jesus! <laughs> I'm glad he didn't hit us with that. <laughs> Fuck you, ape! Tis I, Ape Prime. Top. You do realize protect and detect spamming only works as a strategy if you actually, like, do something to me first, right? Like, poison or burn. Uh-oh. Let's see. Sludge Bomb will not kill. What is he gonna try? I could do Pursuit, because fighting doesn't resist Dark, it's just super effective against it. I could use Pursuit just for some damage, and it's a special move. So we can't counter it. I'm gonna go for that, I think. Because then, next turn, I should be able to kill him with Sludge Bomb. Oh, it is not very effective. Okay. And what did what did you try to do there? Uh, pursue. Because I was just trying to do a bit of damage to him so that I could kill him next time with Sludge Bomb. Uh, he dug, so... I mean, yeah, fighting resist dark type moves. I forgot that. Uh, this is actually a problem here. I guess I'll focus energy. It's because, uh, like, uh, the idea is that fighting represents, like justice and strength and dark represents evil yeah I, kn I knew it was super effective against dark i just forgot that it was uh that it resisted it as well hurt by the poison yep one more sludge uh, bomb and it, uh, sludge bomb will kill it and then yeah i'll swap sludge on the next one sludge bomb definitely kills yeah All right, Beedrill, is definitely, Beedrill is definitely one of those Pokemon that is not scary in the series, but if you ever came across one in real life, oh boy. Yeah, like, look at how big it is. Alright, uh... I guess we just sludge bomb and then go down with the ship? <laughs> I, want the, I want to continue if I can. So I'm going to switch to Ninetales. Please and don't use a rock move. Ooh, that's actually you... a good point. Yeah, he probably doesn't have a rock move, right? Oh, it's it's Hitmon Lee. He's gonna like use kick. Oh, he used detect. Okay. okay. Yeah, that seems to be just what they do is they spam detect. Well, our only good move is fire blast. We have quick attack for like what uh, like taking him down if he gets to low damage. Good low hit. Health. Good hit. Ah, oh, didn't even do half. Miss. Shit. That did a little over half. Let's see. Kill if we get a fire blast plus a burn. Yep, yeah, the chance of that is unlikely. Or we kill if we get fire blast and then he misses high jump kick. That too. Miss, miss, miss. Fuck. We're still alive! Qu quick attack, baby! Quick attack, motherfucker! Please be enough. 
Okay, thank God. Uh, yeah. There have been so many times we used Quick Attack when they had a sliver left and it still wasn't enough. All right, got another continue. Doing really good at these battles with the team that seems subpar on the surface. Yeah. Take that, Yang. Sad that he didn't use all three Hitmons and use Primate to start. <laughs> Have you caught any bird Pokemon? I have a bee drill. Okay, all <laughs> Have you caught types. any bird Pokemon? Here, look at my Charizard! Okay, Is so we're definitely we're definitely gonna use <laughs> Chin Chow and my cargo. Oh yeah. So we have Izardash, Glygash, Arrow Ash, Fero Ash, Crow Ash, and Drio Ash. All okay, right. Yep. That episode where Ash turned into a crow was a weird, was a weird one. <laughs> That's not that far off because there was an episode where he turned into a Pikachu. Chin Chow is a safe start because either he starts Gly Gligar, which is still weak to water, or he starts anything else, which is weak to electric. Yep. And then we have Magcargo. And I guess Ninetales for the last one because Beedrill and Pinsir are bad choices and Nidorino doesn't exist. Okay, this is fine. Be strong, Clarence. Do Dodrio definitely outspeeds us. Should I rain dance first? I think you can tank two hits from R Dodrio. That's a good point. But I don't know if I can even hit. I guess we'll find. Richard does have high HP. I, I guess we'll find out. I'll do. I'll do thunder. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh. Oh. Oh, it toxic us. It's probably toxic and then spamming protection and such. I'm guessing that's what this gimmick is. Come on, baby. Come on, little buddy. Yeah! Fucked him up. I'm sorry, Clarence. I had to. You were in my way. This is also good for us. Weak to fire, weak to water, and electric. We can do surf. Yeah, I'm gonna go surf because it's more, it's a uh, better chance of hitting. You're flying, aren't you? Excuse me? Okay, I'll that's admit, done. that's not what I expected. Now what do we do? Hmm. Do we think we take? Do we? Do we think we take one? Well, I'm gonna use rain dance. But it's faster than us. I'm an idiot. But it's fine. Let's check this out. We're not going to survive another one of those because we're toxic, by the way. Yes, but... It's faster than us and it's going to dig again. Ah, no, why would it do that? Max. <laughs> why would it do that? <laughs> you really should have just surfed last turn. Yeah. I forgot that it was faster than me. I don't know how, it just happened. I don't- I have bad short-term memory, we've been over this. Uh, there's we can't, no- we can't, uh, Everything we have is weak to ground. I think he, that might have just cost us the match. Because Ninetales doesn't have anything that can hurt Charizard, and my cargo is going to get one shot by Dig. Like, I don't think Surf would have one-shot the Charizard, but it would have put some chips on it. The yeah, we just lose, dude. Yeah. I mean, if we never actually get a hit off on Charizard, then it wouldn't have mattered. We have really high defense. We might actually survive this. But then we're not gonna. Well, it is quad, so maybe. Okay, we survived this. Let's see if Rock Slide can kill. The 
Fuck. Yeah, that surf that we could have gotten on Charizard would have saved us. <sighs> that surf would have made the difference. Because we don't survive this. This is did like 140 before. Maybe he gets a low roll? I mean, we'll see. Nope. Oh. Yeah, that, that surf would have saved us. I mean, it's possible uh, Nine Tails is not going to be able to one-shot this thing with Quick Attack. It's the only thing we have that can do damage, though. What does Safeguard do? Protects it from status problems. I might as well use it. Wait! Well, I mean, I might as well. We're faster than Charizard. No, we're not. Oh, it's okay. We'll get Quick Attack off on the next turn. Oh, okay. We still kill it that round. We yeah, still have a chance here. I figured I'd do that, because, like, either nothing happens, or he dies, so... We have a chance! Now you really are Crow Ash. What is the, with the deal with all these male Pokemon that we attract? Hey, hey! Hey, hey. Oh, we actually won! Cool. Yeah! I did it! You, you really do gotta pay attention to who goes first in these rounds, though. <laughs> I mean, I was paying attention, I just forgot because sometimes my brain just drops any information gained in the last 30 seconds. That was a lot closer than it could have been. It's fine. We didn't use any continues. I study extensively. That makes me strong. Cool, uh, cool, uh, cool trainer Floria. Cool story, bro. Okay, none of, I don't know the theme with her Pokemon. Stantance! Hypnance! Guterance! Fablance! Rebalance! Rathance! Good old Rebalance. Okay, so she has two normals, two psychics, two grass, water fighting. Let's see. Uh, I think Meg Cargo is the safest thing to start with because if it's poly Polyrath is the only thing that would be a problem. Then bring Chin Chow for Polyrath and just generally being good. Uh, the thing is, it, the funny thing is, Executor is quite a weak to bug, but the bug types in this generation still suck. Yeah, I might bring B Drill though, just because in general it's been pretty decent, all things considered. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, hmm. Yeah, B Drill. I wonder what's her gimmick, because none of her Pokemon fit a theme. It's possible that it's not a gimmick and it's just we have these Pokemon and we try to win. They just, all seem to have a gimmick, though. Just not Polyrath, please. Okay. Okay. Did you Start. say Stantler? Start Stantler, which is gonna outspeed us because my cargo is slow as shit. Stantler and Waldorf. Oh, oh fuck oh. off! Really bad. Really bad. Okay, come on. Yeah, okay. We're gonna have to do restart this one. We we just if you crit in the first round, it's an auto lose. Yeah. Uh, B drill. Because at least that's fucking neutral. Ah, 
I never understood why the move is called Return. Are you kidding me? <sighs> the last time it did more than half its health, and this time it couldn't even... Okay. And the poison didn't kill it. Yep, because it didn't proc, because it caroled. This is the last Pokemon. One Pokemon is still capable of going up, but the other one looks tired. Yeah, we're gonna have to usually continue on this just because of the crit. Like, if the enemy crits turn one, it's just over. Yeah. I don't know. Fucking thunder. Who knows? Thunder Clefable's crit. Kinda, Clefable's crit. bulky, so. Crit one shot. Didn't even do half. Crit one shot. You're good. Well, it's gonna kill us next turn. Oh, go to hell! And it has leftovers. Crit one shot. Paralyzed. But still getting a turn. Okay. Maybe we don't lead Mag Cargo. I still think leading Mag Cargo is a good idea. The problem is just that it was Stantler Earthquake Crit. But I don't really. I, I don't. Think I, without I, the crit, we were probably dead. I don't no, think we were Mechargo dead. Has but... over th Mech Cargo has over 300 defense, and Stantler didn't have stab. So I don't think it would have killed, but we definitely weren't surviving two. No, but we could have gotten a, a hit off. Hmm. I'm not sure. What what can we start with then? Maybe maybe bring Pinsir just because it has a fighting move. What is its fighting move? Submission. I can't actually see what that move is right now. Okay. Uh, let me look it up. Bulbapedia submission. You, uh, you, you get taken to their page for applying to be a moderator. <laughs> uh, 80 power, 80 accuracy, recoil. Not very good. Yeah. I'll start with B drill this time, and I'll still bring my cargo and Chin Chow. I wiggle my stinger. Wiggle the stinger. Yeah, hey there, fucker. And yeah, now use Earthquake when it's only neutral. Oh, hey! He's going to, uh, he's gonna die now. Because <laughs> this time, we got the crit! That was just too quick! Oh, it's the hey, buddy. Number of remaining Pokemon is three to two. What did it use last time? What was the move that it had? Ice Punch? Thunder Punch? Uh, Thunder Punch. It has Thunder Punch. Eh. Well, Fable's not good. in like, attack stat-wise, so... If we could- if we could poison it, that would counter its leftovers. Nah, we got we got the poison on the Stantler, so. Oh. Okay, this thing is just made for coverage. And we're dead. Oh boy. Well, we don't have to worry about Stantler anymore. Let's see, Thunder Punch, Fire Blast. It probably doesn't have like a water move. I don't know if Clefable gets access to any water moves. I wouldn't have guessed he got access to Thunder Punch either. I mean, that one kind of makes sense. Oh, you asshole. That's like 50 ac- uh -oh, It always hits. Now it gets a bunch of free healing. Pokemon is returning to its Pokeball. 
You have Polyrath now, don't you? Yeah, definitely swap in here. God, my, my guy keeps like spazzing out because I'm standing I'm standing up for a moment. Okay, can you fuck off with the paralysis? That's like a two percent chance. Okay, we just have Clefable left. Just one Pokemon remains. This Pokemon is back for another go. It's down to the last Pokemon now. Okay, you don't get to have leftovers activate when you just switched in. Fuck off with that. The crowd's excitement is building from this heated battle. Yeah. Okay. Wake up soon, please. God, it's like streaming with Rhino. <laughs> of course it's super effective. Ah, uh, this freaking Clefable, dude. Please, no. Thank God. Now we just need to hit. Okay, it's dead. <sighs> ah, okay, well, we finally got past that one. Halfway through. Uh, can't <laughs> that guy's fucking you. face. <laughs> uh, water user. All right, so and this was... <laughs> This is very bad for us. Uh, like our entire team is weak to water. Garadish, Mantish, Turnish, Quagish, Gooish, Nightish. This will say job for Chin Chow. And then for no yep. reason at all, he has a Dragonite. Beedrill, and I guess Pinsir, because it's the only other thing I can even think of bringing. I guess. Uh, Jesus, this is bad. <laughs> Dragonite's gonna be rough. Uh, the entire team of water types plus Dragonite. Thunder is neutral to Dragonite, so who knows? What do we have for Quagsire? Uh, Surf. <laughs> it's the first thing we have to deal with. It's gonna Earthquake us, you know. Oh, definitely. Well, I don't know what to do about that. Mm hmm. You know what? I'm gonna take a risk. All right, not earthquake, but. 
I'm definitely faster, so I'm going to focus energy. Right back, dog stuff. Okay. What was That was a blow. Oh boy. What's that? Might have to go for some mission. There's like no chance of it hitting though. Combat and face each other. What's this? A light pack. How's that? This that is like it's some damage. It hung on by the skin of its teeth. The white hot battle continues. There's the attack. The hit lands right off. Okay, pincer down. Then we get Quagsire down to half health. We're eagerly awaiting the appearance of the next Pokemon. The Pokemon emerges from its Pokeball. The crowd's excitement is building from this heated battle. What now? Ow. I don't even know if a surf kills from here. It does. I used a surf before without the rain, and it was over 100 damage. Okay. Now, if he brings out the Dragonite, that's a problem. That fucking Charlie Please? Brown ass face. Please bring out, like, Mantine. Well, that sucks. Well... This guy's a shiny Dragonite, too. No, they, they just have different colors when they have nicknames. Mm. It's weird. It's very similar to shiny Dragonite's color scheme, though. Yeah, we have no ice moves, we got nothing for this. Yeah, we're not beating this. It's gonna be faster than us. No, Dragonite's pretty uh, slow. Huh. That did about 100 damage. Oh boy. Of course. We actually survived the crit. They're both hanging tough. I don't want to hear any more B drill trash talk. What that was a ah, we could have killed him if he didn't get a crit on the first one, because that did 240. Will this do it? Really? Two that was crits. super overkill. Ah, man, we do not have a team count built for this guy. Hmm. We have way too many things that are weak to water. He did have Mantine. Alright, if he leads, if, if he doesn't lead with Quagsire, it could be a lot easier. Because we don't have any grass or ice moves is the problem. Yeah, we kind of have to use Chin Chow, Beedrill, and Pinsir. We have Nidorino, but it can't really bring any... I mean, it has Thunder, but it doesn't have good stats. And it gets, like, two tapped by water moves. I mean, it's not part ground type yet, but... Eh, I could bring it, I, could, bad, I, I could bring it for Horn Drill. I guess. 
Chin Chow, B Drill. Because, like, the alternative is, is Pinsir, who wasn't really able to do anything against Quagsire. Ah, eh, fuck it. Need a Reno. If he can get a Horn Drill off, we'll see. He is going to dig, and I am faster. Let me see if I can get a Confuse Ray off before I... That's not what I... Apparently not... it... <laughs> no, that was not what I hit. That's not what I hit. Apparently it is. No, it's... <laughs> this game sucks. Uh -oh, it, started raining heavily. it was completely to the left. Maybe slightly down. Like, fuck off. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, I'm back. How we doing? Uh, I tilted the control stick all the way to the left and slightly down, and it decided that meant rain dance instead of confuse ray. So you restarted? Uh, no. Uh, I'm just kind of stuck dealing with it. Is this gonna kill us? Yeah, so I'm switching. So is this that same try that I left on? No. This is, however, our last continue. Oh, good. He's ground and that resists poison. But I mean, it's either that or fucking twin needle. So. Okay. Here comes a Pokemon. Oh. Okay. Could have used pursuit there. Oh, it's Dragonite. Ah. What's that? I'm powerful. Yay! That was a good crit. Like, that was a great crit to hit. And Beedrill is faster than Dragonite! Alright, so this should kill him. Woo! Alright, go Beedrill. That Charlie Brown face. Alright, are you going back to Quagsire, or...? Okay. Odd choice. Do you think he's gonna use Surf? Well, it's no longer or raining. Aurora Beam? Probably Aurora Beam. Probably Discount Ice Beam. Oh no, he just has Ice Beam. Well, it's not super effective. So we're still gonna take some good chunks out of this thing. Yeah. So fun fact, fun fun fact. Thunder always hits during rain. No, I know. Yeah. But I wasn't u I wasn't using it because Quagsire's ground type. It wouldn't have done anything. And by the time he went to yeah. Dragonite, I had B drill out. And I was better off just leaving B drill out. Go B drill. It's gonna get two kills on its own. Yeah. It's pretty good. Now the question is just if we can take out Quagsire. Well, Quagsire's at half health at this point. I might have a stupid idea. I'm not sure I like it. Rhino, my ridiculous plans always work out. My ridiculous plan is how I, like, stole that skull and scared off all those goblins, remember? That wasn't ridiculous. No, but it was, it was a ridiculous plan at the start when I came up with it before... It, and then it worked, so... So here's my ridiculous plan. Out of this. He's not gonna use Dig. 
because I was at like no health. He used dig. Why? Whatever. I'm pretty sure we can survive one. Well, look who's raw. Yeah, he's fat, or I'm faster than him, so whatever. All right. Are you ready to see if Horde Drill can save the day, Rhino? Really? You're gonna waste the win on that? We can't use, look, strength and double kick won't do enough to kill. Do what you will. Prove your worth. Hey, Rhino. The ridiculous what? plan. <laughs> ridiculous plan, motherfucker! Ridiculous plan! Look who proved his worth after two fucking games! You actually got the cheese move to work. Nice. You gotta continue out of it. Jeez, that was battle number five. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully, maybe this next one will be like all grass types. That'd be great. The scientist. Poison yeah, and steel. Let me, let me show you. It's, uh. I'm not inaccurate. There's, there's no. <laughs> For it lab. Bugs. Persian lab. Trode lab. Ste lab. Crow lab. Nine lab. There's not really uh, a gimmick here. Uh, you don't know that. The steel bug, normal, electric, dark ice, flying poison, fire. The I mean, good news, you can bring my cargo. Yeah, I bring my cargo, and four of those things are weak to at least one of his moves. Let's see. Uh, uh yeah. Um, Fortress is weak to nine tails, so it's Sneasel. I feel like Chin Chow would be a good thing because yeah. he, he resists Electrode, he's good against Nine Tails, he's good against Crobat. Well, we're neutral to Electrode with Chinchou. And then I, I think Beedrill is just good to bring, just because Beedrill is actually a champion. <laughs> like, Nine Tails, sure? Nine Tails is redundant with Mag Cargo. True. And, and they're only good against two things. So, I think Beedrill... Beedrill is just turning out to be a, a champ. I am Mag Cargo! I make cargo! Ah, please! Use explosion! That would be great! <laughs> oh god, is he gonna, is, does he have a swagger strategy? Is that his whole thing? We'll see if he does it more than once. I didn't do as much as I hoped. Hmm. Rock slide because we got the physical boost. It's only five accuracy better, and e and like Bad Cargo has much better special, and that's still like forty five more power. So Fire Blast is still the better choice, I think. Even with the two stages? Yeah, because my cargo's physical attack is shit. Ooh, Screech, that's not good. Oh, what the... No, oh, I... my... <laughs> it missed! And we hit ourselves. Oh, and... Huh. It's fine, we have defense. Not for long. We're gonna keep hitting ourselves and it's gonna hurt worse and worse. A crit would be great. I was gonna say a hit would be great. <laughs> I'll go for rock slide. Uh, so... Ro rock slide out here will kill. So. Well, I was gonna say smog, but. Um. Well, no. Sm uh, smog is like no damage, basically. Also, why do you screech twice and then zap cannon? All right. Well, that went all right. We're, our defense is lowered a bunch, but. I mean, once we 
<laughs> Ooh la la. Once we swatch my cargo out, that will get, uh, be gotten rid of, and I might swap them out here depending on what we see. Hmm. Let's see. Half the time these things no bubble beam for some reason. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to Beedrill. They're ready to go. Much as I would like Macargo out there just to tank with rock type moves, I doubt the Persian's gonna be able to a normal one. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's their gimmick. He's a, he's a swagger strat. If I hit, though. Yeah? If you hit. It would be fantastic if I hit. It's swag. It's a swagger screech team, so it's like they're trying to get you to kill yourself. Jeez. Yes, it's the game makes me want to do that as it is, so... Oh, boy. Jesus! Oh, jeez. Now, see if he pounces on that or if he tries to finish you off himself. I mean, I, there's no real point in... Yeah, I had a feeling. Yep, there it is. There was no point in switching at that, so... Alright, but now we can bring out my cargo because we know three of this thing's moves. Right? Yeah. Slash Swagger Screech. All the S's. Its last one is probably Surf, knowing my luck. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright. Here we go again. Fuck off! Well, your defense wasn't lower this time, so they really didn't do I know, much. but still. It's less about that we're doing damage to ourselves and more that we're not doing damage to the enemy. Electrode went fairly smooth, which is why the Persian is annoying. Ah. Ah. He probably still can't kill me with Slash. Yeah, but if you hit yourself again, then it probably can. Oh, oh it has off. Iron Tail. What do do? Great hit. Uh, this this battle is more just winning coin flips. Yeah. There's a part of me that wants to like whenever they, they use a gimmick that's just like confuse you and then wait for you to kill yourself, just like not count it. Just like do a, a, a like a save at the start, and then every time we fail, just restart from there instead. Because that's not us losing to like us being bad. That's us losing to stupid luck. Let's see. Do I surf for guaranteed ninety five or thunder for possible one twenty? I'm gonna surf. Yeah, I think just surf your way through. Oh, for the first swagger. I'm pretty sure I gave the did I give the confusion berry to Chicho? I don't think I did actually. I gave it no I did, okay. Woo! What's this? If only he was a physical attacker. Oh boy. What if I confuse him? You're not faster, so you're gonna get confused first. Fuck! This is gonna hurt. A hot battle is unfolding. And now Screech. Yep. I don't know what it is, but I feel like Swagger, when you're confused by Swagger, you have a higher chance of hitting yourself. Very nice. And now we're faster. And so now we can just finish it off with Surf. Yep. All right, just one more to go then. It's gonna come out with swagger again, so. I'm hoping it's not fortress. I mean, if it's fortress, that's fine. It doesn't resist either of our things, so. Sir, why is your nine tails mustard? Rhino, if your mustard is that shade of green, that's a problem. Look, it was the first thing I thought of. Also, this thing doesn't have swagger. It's just confused, right? Well, our attack is already raised four times, so we're already fucked. No, we're not. 
Jeez. Yeah, we might. Yeah, we might be. Flimthrower. Well, we have to continue. Yeah, and because of the way this fight is, I'm just gonna make a save, and then I'm just gonna get past this fight, because this isn't a skill fight, this is a luck fight, and that's bullshit. Fuck you, Scientist Craig. You look like you have a mouse cursor on your glasses. Did... do you not? <laughs> No, 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 no. Uh... Okay. What did we start with last time? I actually forget now. Also, is there any particular reason I brought Ninetales instead of Magcargo? Because Magcargo has better special attack. Oh, no, wait. Did I bring... I'm totally blanking on what just happened in the thing we just did. Uh, Hello, Black Dragon Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> like Red Eyes Black Dragon or something? I don't watch Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, right, because he started with Electrode, and I had Mag Cargo. Was it? No, it was Nine Tails. I don't. Fu I don't freaking know. I don't know what just happened. Uh. I'm just completely blanking on everything. No, I did bring Mag Cargo. Okay, Mag Cargo Nine and Nine Tails uh, Chin Chow. I think this is still the best thing. It's just luck based. Didn't you All take right, Nine Tails just just for status problems? No. I think I brought I brought Nine Tails because this guy is, has like a crippling fire weakness. Hmm. What are you talking about? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm answering a question in chat. Oh, confusion made it tougher. <sighs> but you didn't bring Nine Tails last round. I yeah I did. No, you brought my cargo Beedrill Chinchow. I swear I brought Nine Tails. I no, hate, I he hate, brought Nine Tails. I hate my fucking memory. That's why I was confused when I was coming back. I was like, "What the hell are you talking about?" Then again, Beedrill didn't really accomplish much because it just pretty much killed itself. It didn't even scratch Persian, so a swap would be fine. And now we miss. Ooh, good hit. Eh, that was a high roll. We're not going to kill it. like 50 accuracy. Okay, miss. <sighs> I'm gonna kill myself uh, in game. You know what? No. Let's just start over. Because I have bullshit on so many levels. You drill or nine tails. I feel like Beedrill's a good choice. I mean, he didn't do anything the first time. That was just because of luck. Unfortunately, its its physical attack is high enough that it kills itself fairly quickly with Swagger. I'm gonna it's go like for it. Option. I think I just don't have it be the one I send out against Persian. We do know Persian doesn't have Bubble Beam or anything for Mancargo, so we can leave Mancargo in. 
Yeah, but swapping my cargo out is useful when his defense is lowered so much. Yeah. Does he always start with Electrode? I think so. He's got to start with the fastest Pokemon known to man. Here we have a good uh, shot on the virgin. Oh, you know uh, it was it was not doing quite enough. Also, Smog has 70 accuracy. I'm better off using Fire Blast. <laughs> Jeez, you're right. I'll use Rock Slide because it does have the highest accuracy out of them. Normally it should be Crobat. As I remember the times I played, he probably senses that I'm bringing Chin Chow or something, so he's like not starting with it at least. Try again. Flip them coin. Flip them coins. Parallel, I'm parafused now. I actually got it off. Wow. Now, unfortunately, he's probably going to bring in Persian, who's just going to iron till you to death. And I'll probably just have to take that because. It's not like there's any point saving Meg Cargo at this point. Forty-seven health and paralyzed. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's gonna go after everything. No He's like, what, what if I had fifty-seven? <laughs> I wonder if Persian can one-tap him. Oh, slash instead of Iron Tail. Huh? He knows think, it's gonna I kill. Think... He knows it would kill. He... Yeah, oh my God! Off. The berry saved no, I... my ass. I was about to say we live these. Oh, okay, but, it didn't oh, matter. Come didn't on. matter. We missed. Didn't matter. That could have been awesome. Yeah. I was kind of hoping you would use Rock Slide because of your double swagger bonus. I really think Fire Blast just does more damage anyway. Hey, but it, hey, it, he it wasted, ended up not he mattering. A, he wasted a crit on 2 HP. Yeah, but it was, it was a slash crit, so. Alright. I would assume Beedrill just for the neutrality. Or Chin Chow because they won't murder themselves quite as quick. I'm thinking Confuse Ray because he's going to be faster than me. But I have the Confusion Curing Barry, so I will get the Confuse Ray off. That is a fair point. What's a strange shout for that cat to make. <laughs> I mean, I have seen those videos where a cat has lived among dogs, so they bark. I've seen some where it's like a dog has lived among. Oh! <laughs> he had the exact same berry. Oh. <laughs> we both do the same thing, and we just kind of look at each other and nod in respect. <laughs> it's like, all right, let's try again. <laughs> Anyways, back to flipping coins. Uh. Well, we have we have way more health. Yeah, but he does more damage. Is, though, I worry. Yeah, I worry that he's just gonna get confused and go, "Oh yeah, well I switch." <laughs> That's true. Yeah, true. No, I have hiccups. I blame your dog. Then again, we could also just switch whenever it comes to. Come on, baby. Oh, we actually land it. Oh, it doesn't even do half. Yeah, it's, it's honestly just better to just surf it. I was going so to switch to... Do you do B-Drill to make him rotate? I do B-Drill. He would use Screech. I would have my defense lowered, and then he would use Swagger. So it's like we're just kind of crossing our fingers for that first coin flip? Pretty much. I mean, it's either cross our fingers for one coin flip or cross our fingers for two coin flips. So. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Because technically speaking, nothing stops us from just swapping out every time we're confused. 
just the fact that he'll confuse us immediately as soon as we get back in. I mean, Swagger only has so much PP. And he seems to prioritize doing that every time, so what if we just run that out? How much PP does it have? Fuck. Tim? Youch. So he's gonna try and finish you off now. Which it may be better to just tank that, I guess. Rhino's a liar. Swagger is 15 PP. What do you mean, Rhino's a liar? Rhino didn't say a number! <laughs> you said it had low amounts of PP. No, I didn't. He said it had so much. Uh, I thought... It... I missed part of the conversation. I thought he was implying it had a low amount. Tim is a liar. He's saying that I implied things. <laughs> Why bring up how much PP it has in the first place, if it's that much? <laughs> We're never gonna out. We're, we're never gonna PP stall Swagger. Well, not at this point. Whenever our Beedrill half three fourths murdered itself. But we well, could get lucky, like uh, Macargo is getting, and have our confusion cured second turn. Well, one more surf and we kill. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think he realizes that. Oh, of course you crit. <laughs> it's slash. It has increased crit ratio. Yeah, and both our Pokemon. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't gonna go anywhere. Beedrill was I, one hit away. I'm not restarting when we lose to the luck base guy. He Don't always starts well, with he always starts with Electrode. And as soon as you say that, he's going to not. It's what? always Electrode. It's always Electrode. <laughs> I just yeah. noticed Electrode's picture there. Which is, <laughs> Electrode's like the fastest thing in this generation, so... It's like the fastest thing in every generation aside from Reggie Lecky. Let me actually see, like... I, think I was that, actually looking at Pokemon with the highest speed stats. Outside of like legendaries and whatnot, ni uh, Ninjask is the is the fastest. And if we can actually hit the fucker, we'll do a lot of damage. Uh, yeah. Number one fastest Pokemon period is Speed Form Deoxys, then Ninjask, then Feromosa, then Electrode. Uh, you're looking at Gen Seven, aren't you? Because Regilecki would be. Is this supposed to be the top? Oh, why does it default to Gen 7? I don't know, man. Why, Cerebi? Okay, it's Regilecki, then Deox Speed Form Deoxys, then Electrode, and then Jask isn't on the list because it's not in the game. Go, Beedrill. He's pumped up now. If he can get through the confusion, he'll annihilate. Surprisingly, Base form Deoxys is also very fast. Well, yeah, it's still a mythical. Hmm. And also attack. Maybe I don't hang out here with B Drill. I think yeah. it's I think it's time for Chin Cha. What about you? I mean, Macargo would have worked too. Attack form Deoxys is also very fast, as is Calyrex. Wow, Dragon. It's that horse thing from Gen 8 DLC. Uh, There's a few different horse things. It, wait. The Gen 8, the Gen 8 legendaries are weird This to me. guy is... Well, he's faster than me, so it doesn't actually matter, but... Well, I it's interesting, though, because he didn't swagger. That was a crit. That didn't do that, that much damage. That's because uh, at the, I, I had Beedrill out at first, and Beedrill was still confused. Oh, Paralyzed! That cr that crit did not. So do now any you can damage. just surf him, right? That was a crit that did 90 damage. Yep. Let's hope this kills. It does. He's like, no, I do. I should have swaggered. All right. What do you have as your last guy? Is it Persian again? It's probably Persian again, isn't it? It's Persian again. Ah, and fun fact: yep. Dragapult is the fastest of the pseudo legendaries at 142. Makes sense. <laughs> 
I think I'll just use this chance to get some damage in instead of trying to confuse Ray again. Wow. Yeah, just I use Surf. Iron Bundle oh. is the fastest Paradox Pokemon. Really? The Deli Bird? Yeah, Iron Bundle's speed stat is 136. And then Next, why'd you use Thunder? Because Thunder I clicked too. it before you said Surf. Also because of that, so shut the fuck up. Alright, fair two, enough. I'll, two I'll be quiet. <laughs> two paralyzes in a row. Two you want to also row, confuse crazy. it now, so it's peer refused? <laughs> no, it has a bitter berry. I, I, I'll just do the. I'll just use the two turns to damage it. Fair enough. What's this? Oh, its confusion made it tougher. Anyway. <laughs> hey, Beedrill, you want the kill? <laughs> Interesting. Iron Boulder is a lot higher than I expected it to be for a Terrakion clone. Well, it's, it's a paradox based on a legendary, so... Yeah, but I didn't expect it to be, like, higher than so many other paradox mon, especially when it's a future Terrakion. You will fear... My poop! Alright, we got past the asshole. Yep, and we got back the continue that we used on him. That's good. <laughs> ah, skier or snowboarder. Skier, okay. Skier. All right, this is, I was gonna say this is ice type, then I realized it's two ice, or it's three ice, three water, and a Mr. Mime. There's Jinao, Laprao, Slowcow, Pilosau, Mr. Mimeow, and Feralau. I love Mr. Mimeow. Chinchow, Magcargo, Beedrill. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I'll confuse Ray. Use this turn to kind of see what he does. Oh no, not a double team spamming team. Coin flips, coin flips, coin it's, flips. It's probably double team spam and toxic. That's my guess. You know what? You want to spam double team? Go for it. Yeah, go on. Keep spamming double team. Man, Archeladon is way faster than you'd think for such a bulky Pokemon. Black Dragons uh, suggest it might be a Baton Pass team. Oh, hmm. That's possible. We've blacked out for a while. <laughs> uh, what, what's going on? Where are we? Uh, we are at the seventh battle, and they're a double team spammer, uh, possibly with Baton Pass. A steel dragon type that also has like 120 in attack and both defense stats and still 85 in speed. That's crazy. Oh no, I can't believe Mr. M Mime is using double team so much. Anyway, rain dance means thunder always hits, so... I, I didn't realize that meant beyond double team as well. It, it just makes uh, it a perfect hitter. It's a baton pass team. Oh no! Uh. Oh no! Pl set, no, please don't send out a water type! Oh, you fool! Oh, oh you he just, fool! Oh, he just killed himself there. Is, and we've been getting the paralyze on that a lot. And continue. One more thunder, it's dead. <laughs> anyway! And we're faster. Bye. Go Chin Chow. And Not now to mention Mr. Mime. And Mr. Now Mime dies to anything. And, and the double teams are gone. No longer in play. Mr. Mime dies to literally anything that hits it because only a 20 health. 
So anyway, I started blasting. Oh, the rain stopped. Okay, Would you sure. like to set it up again? Not yet. Not right now. Are you sure? Because now would be the time if he just double teams more. If I miss with this surf, I will. But I was trying to use surf just to take him down quickly. I forgot that he would be faster. Mr. Mime doesn't look like the picture of speed. Dead. <laughs> hey, Rhino, you know what those eyes uh, just then made me think of? What? Cliff half by who halves! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's another water type. Go on. You snuck it on me. <laughs> Will you like to rain dance? Uh, it would give it him too late this it would give him stronger attacks. So I'm gonna do a thunder first. I mean, we re we would resist his water moves anyway. I know, but like for the later ones, in case something happens. Dude, we've been getting the paralysis so much. Okay, well he had miracle berry there. We have three Pokemon left. I think I could just. We can, we can't lose here, dude. <laughs> nice crit. Uh, totally needed. Chin look at how sweet. Look at how much luck we had in that battle. I'm a we fish. always get for the last battle. We always blow our luck on one battle by getting a bunch of stuff. It's fine because now we have two continues to fight the last one. We might have to give ourselves a few penalty failures for the, the save state. Yeah, I'll probably do two because I think that's accurate. I'll go ahead and throw those on now. All right, go ahead and let's see, where is it? Uh, failure number. This guy looks like he could be Gary's dad. Hey, look, he's got a Mew. Hey, look, Jero's here. We can, Jero's here, we can play D&D. &D. Hi, Jero. Hey, how can we have it respond to that thing I pinged you with in the D&D &D chat? Again, one of you guys is still going. Uh, we're this is whether we whether we win or lose. Well, we have two continues, but whether we win or lose, Marty here is the last guy we need to fight. Well, I didn't she has a Mew. Was, I, I didn't even realize it was five thirty already. Yeah. Mew store, <laughs> Ursa store, Me store, Um store, Buck store, Tyra store. He has two dark types, but we don't have a fighting type. Also, also, I will respond the only way I should respond to that by now. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might appreciate it. I do. <laughs> and then, and literally I was making the same connection he was. I was like, wait. I and think I was, I was, I was, I'm going to be honest, because he, Rhino pinged you in it. I watched it and the guy, and, and the, and the and girl was like, my character is a lanky elf. And I'm like, I know where this is going. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Tyranitar has Earthquake. Ooh. They pretty much always do. Unfortunately, we don't have a fighting type, which would be really good against this team. I'm double checking something. Uh, rock type. Rock type is one uh, that I can never remember its stuff. Uh, I mean, I know what rock is good and weak against. Although, yeah, because I was just making. Uh, I was just making. We might have something thing. because. And, then, and I saw you guys were still going, and I'm like, it's 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 almost eight. How are you people still going with this? I mean, now that it's daylight savings time, it's still bright out. All right, Chill. so I have a potential idea for Tyranitar. I mean, rock. for me, this is fine. This For me, this is fine. It's 530. So Rock doesn't resist Bug. No, it doesn't. So we might use Twin Needle on Tyranitar. Maybe he won't okay. bring Tyranitar. Maybe it'll be the first thing he does. But yeah, uh, Jero, Beedrill has been awesome. Anyway, here's Mew. Mew. Fuck my life. Look at okay. those, look at those highlights on it. It's 1.29 a.m. over here. Oh, I think all of his stuff has Earthquake. I'm guessing that's the gimmick here. Okay, fuck well, off. That's not, good. that's not good for our team. Well, we lose immediately. Fucking instant crit. Rip. We this always happens, dude. If they crit us turn one, it's over. We can't come back from a 2v3. Oh, it's Beedrill! Do we still try and, like, feel out his team a bit more? Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Twin Needle. Strikes twice. 25. 
Sludge Bomb is 90, 25 strikes twice, 50, super effective. Is it, is it 100? Hang on, let me, I, I, I need to double check Gen 2 super effective stuff. Uh, Let, let's hope he doesn't have Psychic, because we're weak to that. Type effectiveness. Uh, against the type, wait, wait. the damage wait, wait. is doubled. Uh, oh, is it, is it bug weak to psychic? No. no. Po poison is weak to psychic, but psychic is weak to bug. So if I do... Why is he poison still? Why so if I do twin needle, Mew... Sh it should be more damaging to Mew. I mean, at this point, what do you got to lose? Yeah, we're gathering information at this point. Yeah. All right. Fuck it. Get ready to go. Oh, that's not good. He'll be fine. Everything's fine. For I am Beedrill! That's still probably more damage than Sludge Bomb would have done. So we're basically just feeling out his Mew. Sounds weird. God damn it! You missed it earlier, Jero. I, I I said something like, uh, "Well, I got off two Pokemon," because I like I don't remember what the context was. Oh yeah. Also, Jero. You want to see something funny without context? Oh God! What? the who haps? What the fuck? <laughs> oh God! We're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> the very baby will live. If you had, if this no, no missing, fucking I way. Miss, no, miss, literally miss, impossible. Miss, miss, literally miss. impossible. Damn it! It had a hundred accuracy. I believe, we, damn it! We hadn't done anything to lower its accuracy. I know. All right, uh, let's try that without it one-shotting our uh, for the first thing we send out, maybe. Fuck you, Marty. Yeah, I figured this was a cup. As soon as you mentioned Mew, yeah, this is the cup, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah hey, this is the last fight of the Prime Cup, though. Is that you, Marty? You? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Jero. Uh, make sure to pre-order the uh, Thousand Year Door remake because that's a uh, that, that's available for pre-order now. I have to save money for a trip. I can't right now. I want to. It's coming out in May. You can do. You can do it, Nero. You can do it. You can get the money in time. The thing. The thing is, the trip is at the end of April. I have to wait until then. You can save up for the trip and then also hold on to like sixty bucks for afterwards. Quite true. Let me guess. You're going to Vegas again. No. Oh. Okay. Well, that's a surprise. I didn't know Jero could go anywhere except Vegas. <laughs> you must know why that. It's, it's, it's because I'm um, going to meet a big. It's, it's, it's like a family uh, trip to San Antonio. Gotcha. I mean, you you say that, Max, but like last year he went to New Orleans. I that know. is also true. I, hey, I, I was I was holding the right bumper, but yeah, no, I was just saying that because like it feels like every year Gerald's like I'm going to Vegas, and then he comes back and he's like I I came out even, and I'm like cool. <laughs> Too bad it was a family trip and Rhino was probably busy, because that would have been the one time you guys could have met up. Yeah. <sighs> what to bring here? Uh... Like, no, no, even then, Vicken, uh, we've had Vicken, uh, uh, like, friends joining on family trips and, and, uh, like, before. Like, I've had, like, like, we've had, like, uh, assistants or friends still joining every now and then before, too. So, if I don't had, like, suddenly showed up, the hard one to find. Rhino, how far do you live from New Orleans? A couple hours. Mm. Yeah, hey, Mew. You fucking fetus. What the fuck? That's what it's based on. It's based on, like, a fetus or an embryo or something. That's what Mew's based on. That's the whole thing. based off a cat. I mean, I thought it's that's a what cat. It's a cat and a fetus, okay? I, I thought that's what the Reuniclus line was based on. Yeah, the same. Reuniclus? No, Reuniclus isn't based on fetus, it's just based on, like, uh, I'm blanking on what the term is, but... 
cell it's life? Cells. It's just based on cells in general, yeah. I might as well see if Sludge Bomb does more damage than Twin Needle. Why do I bother? Fuck you. Why do I bother? Yeah, the AI has a three times crit rate for the record. What? Not really, but it feels like it. It absolutely does. Like, I don't care what the fuck anyone says. Well, seriously, what the fuck? I know you can only survive one of its earthquakes. The number of remaining Pokemon is two to three, but it's still early in this battle. Hang on, earthquake! Bullseye! Whoa, that was close. What'll it do? That's it! It used a berry to restore its HP. That'll make a difference. <laughs> you say that, but actually might. No, it literally can't. Earthquake cannot miss. Wow. I know. Yes, we can't get past the fucking Mew. What is up with this? Clearly attacks. I mean, yes, Rhino, it is. We can't even legally get this Pokemon. Hey, why did the Slugma trainer buy a tank of gas? He wanted to make Makar go. <laughs> I also like that. I also did. I also laughed. There's the shot. It's super Max just staring dead into the camera. I'm laughing on the <laughs> inside. This is literally our only hope. <laughs> oh, fuck off! Of course, of course he gave it the berry that makes it immune to everything. What the fuck? We literally can't do anything. Like he's never he's never going to go in without you. Yeah, I'm actually going to go pick up my food so bacon. Good luck guys. I Bye. <laughs> Bye. I have exactly one idea. And that I and that idea is bring in Nidorino and try to horn drill. Like let's be honest, there's a better chance of that working than anything else. And the Tyranitar has a quick claw? Are you fucking kidding me? Honestly, Nidorino using Horn Drill is our only chance. Final battle. Which trainer will claim the champion's throne? He did not start with Mew. We have a fighting move, though. Double kick won't kill unless I crit. I can't exactly switch. They go into battle pose. A sharp attack. That had to hurt. So the enemy gets to fury swipes four and five every time, but double kick never does a three. I don't remember if double. I know double slap can do up to three. I don't remember if double kick can. We're eagerly awaiting the appearance of the next Pokemon. Oh, it's Chincha. No, I believe double kick is always a two hitter. Okay. That's exactly what double means. <laughs> If that's the case, Rhino, why doesn't Double Team give me 12 Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> you 
No, I was mostly joking because whenever someone uses double slap on Max and it goes like three times, he's like, that's not what double beats. She was like, double kick always does special. I'm like, that's exactly what double beats. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, here's this motherfucker back. Also, nowadays, there is a held item that boosts those roll to hit more moves, the loaded dice. Yeah. Plus the ability skilling. That did more damage than... Whatever. It's just higher roll. Yep, get rid of that. I don't know, maybe I'll get a chance to... I didn't think this guy's Mew would be such a wall. It's a Mew, Rhino. Okay, that time I was the higher roll and got a kill. Okay. That this <sighs> anyway, this game sucks. And there goes the battle. Fucking you, really? <sighs> well, we did get through the. We did get through the, the little cup, at least. Yeah. <sighs> Ugh, God, I hate that fucking you. <sighs> well, <sighs> got to figure out what the plan is for next week. Uh, I know there's Dokobon on Monday. We'll see if we could get uh, Pokemon D&D &D at all. I doubt it. Uh, and then we'll see, uh, we'll see if we do Soul Lake Sunday. And then we'll see what else happens next week, so. Heh. <sighs> Farewell, everyone. And, uh, in between this and next time we do this, I'll, I'll go through the, the Challenge Cup or whatever it's called. <sighs> Alright. Farewell. Farewell.